fuck yeah, my iPad's finally updating. <laughs> fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. This is going to be a good one. I've been podcasting forever. What What are you talking about? The last time we podcasted, we were here like a few weeks ago. That wasn't a few weeks ago. It was ago, like a month episode. ago. It was yeah, like, well, it was like the end of September. Bro, that's super inconsistent. Imagine liking a podcast and they only drop it that much. Uh, <laughs> anybody that likes our podcasts... Fuck them about that right? much. They like, yeah. oh, dude, you dicks. They never release yeah, anything. Yeah. I'm not gonna listen to them. Well, here we go. Well, this is a shout out to all my homies that I went to boot camp with because they're the ones who bother me the fucking most about it. So this is for you. Fucking play. Welcome to the Alice Podcast. <laughs> you just mumbling back. I need to change up your tech. Cause bring me no school back. What the fuck is up, motherfuckers? I am back. That's right. So let's, dude, I remember making that intro and it was because of your intro was so dope on yours. My simple little intro. Yeah, but it was, yeah. Well, you know, my goal wasn't to blow out of the water. It's yeah. just like, as stories of success go, <laughs> it just started off me trying to be as good as that. So I wasn't like, I'm going to blow out of the water. I was like, I need to make something that good though. And yeah. I guess like, I don't know. In, in the yours end of the day. is better than mine if you want to be I, honest. Yeah, no, I think so. Just but Yours just because like of what this you said, more professional the sim- quality to it. Yeah, uh, uh, well, it's just your simplicity, though. It's smooth. It's it's appropriate for yours. If you had one yeah, that was I'm like a mine, very it wouldn't. Simple person. No, the the podcast it matches the feng shui of the podcast. I would hope so. Yeah, no. Well, if you did one like mine that had a whole bunch of Silas freaky tales, fucking <laughs> and podcast, I'm like, and I'm just like, hey, how's yeah. Well, it going? you know, I had Eminem, Marshall Mathers, the rapper, uh, yeah, do he that was in the studio yeah, with you. He did that sample where he goes. Freaky, he goes, freaky tales, dude. I was it? like, yeah. And then it was like, um, I think I only said two words. I think solace. I think you, I think you mentioned that on the podcast. last podcast about how yeah, the you, you got all of us in there. <laughs> That's funny. Like you got Efren in there. Of my, I'm ahead of my time. Um, You're behind actually. <laughs> no, I'm seeing that version of me. Like right now I'm like thinking already, but I already thought of it. Hey, what the fuck is that poster behind you? What does FSM stand for? F- oh, F-M-S. you know Travis Barker's. Um, Dude, I love the goth famous. baby. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Okay, so well, so that's a play on the Van Halen baby. See, that's what I was gonna ask. Is this a Van Halen poster? Well, it's like a tri- it's Halen. like a it's like a tribute, right? Right, to an him homage. Much. Um, so I got this poster whenever I was in Dudleyville, fourth or fifth grade. Uh, Mr. Hernandez. Me, him, and Efren were super into Blink-182. Yeah. Blink-182 was broken up whenever me and Efren first found out about them. Right. So, uh, for Christmas, me and Efren, like, made him, like, a little collage or something with yeah. just, like, Blink-182 pictures that we printed out from Google, and we gave it to him. Is this the guy living in Utah now? No, that's a different teacher. You got weed? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get to that later. Um, but, so, um, we gave him, like, these little collages we made with, like, Blink-182, and he came back, and he gave me... This poster that was signed by Travis Barker and oh, the bass shit. player of Blink-182 and then these two other guitarists that were part of this project that happened after Blink-182 called Plus 44. Uh. So that's those are that's an autograph poster by Plus 44. So what I've been doing is I've just been tossing very like monumental tickets oh, okay. around it. Like oh, I, even, I even have the two plane tickets from whenever <laughs> I flew to Fresno because I was like... <laughs> Those are tickets that are like, like tickets. have a story behind oh, them. Oh fuck yeah, that launched off my like I have tickets on that there. La- hey, that launched my tour of last year. That sent me to the nut house. Exactly. You know, you could almost view it as a tour. I have tickets on there from like a show that never happened with like our first, like mine and Efren's first band, Armadas. My aunt has a Yellow Wolf ticket that ticket that never happened. <laughs> nice. It, he was supposed to perform. Was that when you were crazy? Arizona. Yeah. That he, yeah, dude. He was supposed to come from California. He never fucking made it. He was supposed to come to Arizona, and uh, that was his next stop. And that's when he got fifty one fifty. So when we watched him um, in Phoenix that one time, was that before or after? After. Okay. After he lost shit. He lost shit, if you want to put it in a a point in time in my life, is uh, the concert right after I... um, Took his jacket. He took his jacket. Got his jacket, dog. I didn't take his you fucking stole jacket. it from him. You no. went on stage. I can't wait to meet him again to tell him, like... I can't wait till he signs you to Slim American and then you, he gives you that jacket. And he's yeah. just like, bro... Slum it with pride. He's like, you know, it's crazy. If, I, pride, if I ever bro. saw myself working for him, I would never see myself working with him in music. It would be in another art venture. Fashion. I'd be, I'd be, no, I don't know. Maybe some sort of uh, graphics for his shops or something like that. Maybe I could be the almost, you know, the world uh, paint union of, for him. You know what I mean? To his 
uh, I will almost be like his his version of, if you will, fucking um, uh, cartoon. Why don't you start making some slow American designs? I'll be like, um, or I'll be like, like practice Dax. I'll be like his. I'll be the next Dax. Dax Shepard. Um, who else is last name? Dak Shepard. That's who is he a white guy? Yeah. Was he the he has a podcast too, huh? Yeah. He was the dude Armchair in expert. Um he was the dude he has like Idiocracy. Yeah. He, um uh, he ta- was he an employee of the month? Is that Dak Shepard? Yeah, he was the dickhead. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. I'm fucking good. Yeah, you're bro. fucking great. Have you ever seen Without a Paddle? Uh yeah. Yeah, he's in that dude, movie too. Who's the young guy that gets like He's cradled by a gorilla. Dude, <laughs> Seth fuck. Green. It's a bear. <laughs> oh yeah, a bear. I like when they get into that, uh, climb that tree dude, with those that's girls. Such a fucking good movie. That's an underestimated uh, movie. Exactly, dude. I used to watch that movie all. My parent. I watched that movie a lot you because look like of, Billy Harrow I, right now with your hair and everything. Uh, I actually used to hang out with Billy Harrow back in the nineties. I am Billy Harrow. Uh, some kid tried to bush Billy. This is a story that came from either Efren or Billy, but like back in. Uh, Cave days. Someone was saying that they used to like bush kids. Yeah. And I guess someone tried to bush Billy and he just fucked them up. What does that mean? Push him into a bush. Oh. Because, <laughs> you know, like how they're the bushes Go in heads. the courtyard. Yeah. Like around the cafeteria. Are, you, are we talking about elementary? High school. high school. Oh, high school. You know you know how there's like those bushes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there used to be a lot more. Bro, you know the fucking tables that are wrapped around the wooden tables that they built around the trees? Yeah, the base they of the built trees? those my senior year. So <laughs> I w- we're eating lunch there one time and Mondo... Uh, was right there, and uh, my friend, mm-hmm. uh, fucking, he was like, what was he doing? He's sitting there, <laughs> and I'm talking to them, but I'm standing up, they're all sitting down, and I'm pulling on a branch, and the branch fucking <laughs> collapsed on him. <laughs> and it was a big fucking branch. Dude. Classic. I'm going like, I'm like, oh yeah, so what are you guys doing Friday? And it just goes... <laughs> Bro, dude. everything, all the little sticks, bro. Like, yeah, all the pine open. needles. <laughs> yeah. that, dude, that reminded me of like, Ugh, so there, like, love, this lady, this, I love college. This old lady that lived across the street from me in San Manuel. Yeah. She used to let us, like, she was nice, very nice to us. We'd like help her out sometimes, but she would let us play in her front yard. She would let us skate in her driveway. She's a super cool old lady. And one time, dude, it was before I went, like, I was flying up to Washington the next day for my, um, my grandpa's funeral, and me and Ephraim were just hanging out, playing in her front yard. Just because she would just let us like. Was your if, grandpa born in the same graveyard as Bruce Lee in Washington? Uh, if it was in Spokane Valley, then maybe. No, but then no. No, that's a. Uh, he was born in, uh, or I mean, he was buried. He's, in, he was born. In where's the graveyard. needle at? I've been there, Seattle. In Seattle. Okay, so that's yeah. actually hours away from. No, they're on totally different sites. Yeah, so that's why me and Jacob flew to Seattle because I thought my grandpa lived there. It, he did not. Huh? I got there and I go, surprise! Pick me up from the airport, and he goes. Dude, I live like fucking 15 hours from there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. But um, so, you know, th- this lady was cool. She was like, if we wanted to, we could just like lay in her yard and she would just be like, hey, how you guys doing? But so we're, me and Efren are hanging out and we're just like fucking around and Efren jumps on this fucking branch, like this thick fucking branch. <laughs> Efren jumps on it and it yeah. just... <laughs> yeah. And it just fucking Serves you right. snaps, bro. And we're just like... We left the yard. <laughs> Fuck oh, that. Oh, shit. Efren is such that fucking guy. Dude, I can tell you uh, so many funny stories about it. Well, Efren. dude, I had a friend. A we, friend. We, we went to, uh, his name was, uh, Efren his name was Louie. And Louis, one, Louis, one Louis. time we went to his uh, Tata's house on the south side. And in his Tata's backyard, he had a bunch of piled up saguaros. I think that was a part of his job. Like he planted, he sold saguaros. Yeah. Well, there was this pile of them. And on top, dude, this is my memory. Like I'm fucking scraping up memory, but I I remember the event happening. But as far as the description, I'm pretty sure, I don't know why, but he had a bunch of palm tree fans all over this pile of saguaros. I don't know if, because his logic was I'm not buying a tarp. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna like fucking put palm trees. Nature's over. tarp, bro. Yeah. So, or if he had palm trees and they broke off right there, but it was like a weird amount. Like, we're you didn't even know these were saguaros. Yeah. And there was just a bunch of different wood on it. So we get on, and it was fucking huge, dude. Like it was a long, like peninsula in his backyard, like that just stuck the whole out. Peninsula. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> of of just fucking saguaros. So me and my friend climb up it. Like, that's how much shit was on the saguaros that yeah. you could climb onto and you won't get poked, right? So we're fucking walking. But like I said, no protection. Like, there was no cardboard, no tarp. Like, it was just 
shit everywhere. So we're me, me my, I'll never forget this because I think at that time that had to have been the funniest thing I'd seen for a good like five fucking years. Like, you know what I mean? It probably took a while till I saw something that funny. And I sure as hell never saw some that funny prior. Yeah. And um we're fucking walking, dude. And I remember being in front of him. Like I was the one who got up at first and walking <laughs> And I'm like, dude, check this so out. So you guys are walking across on the top tops, of it. On top of, on top the, of it. Uh, yeah, the, the palm tree. Old, uh, no, yeah, the palm tree shit on top of the on stack top of, the of saguaros. <laughs> and like I said, they're la- obviously laying sideways like, you know, a fucking tree. Yeah, you like know? he's going to go sell yeah. them to someone to put it in a yard. Yeah, so I'm, we're walking across them. And I'm like, hey, look at that. And all I hear is... I turn around, bro, and there's just a hole in the fucking, like, pile <laughs> run. So, obviously, my friend just fucking disappeared through a hole, bro. Was he this kid through- <laughs> uh, Was this kid bigger than you? <laughs> yeah. Is he, he stepped- chunky? No, but it wasn't that. Like, he's stepped- not a made good tortillas <laughs> it, and beans. No, it wasn't a fat thing. It was, he stepped <laughs> on a fucking, like, oh, a trap. <laughs> he stepped <laughs> in the, the part that had no support in it. Like, yeah, you know, like, but he fell into, like, a pit. Like, I don't know how the stack could have be f- been formed. <laughs> so what he's, what you're saying is there was a whole piece missing and he just fell into more cactus. Bro, deep though. Like where I remember looking at it, it looked like I was looking at the deck of a ship. Could like, you <laughs> imagine like just like the feeling of a yeah. fucking thick ass <laughs> saguaro needle going and many, deep into uh, your fucking shoulder because you oh, uh, fell well, onto dude, like nothing but a them? A fucking... Jumping cactus needle is very close. It was a close second. Yeah. And I, I was once with the same guy, oh, with the story. same guy when we're kids. Rhinos just came out the fucking. Uh, oh, dude, I know that. I know this. We're story. going down a hill, bro. And it was a big old camp. We had a big old like where a lot of people were there. A yeah. lot of RVs and shit. We're riding in the circle. So the kids were able to ride in this little path by the thing. So we're riding that path in circles and shit. Well, there was this hill and I'm coming down it, but I hit the brakes because I was going too fast. Yeah. And the, it was on loose grounds with a bat. And he's in the passenger seat. Louie, same guy. Fucking. <laughs> Whips around, dude. I remember seeing a big old fucking jumping cactus we're about to hit sideways. And I remember closing my eyes and clinching because I was like, this is about to be painful. <laughs> and I go, Tsh! and I'm like, looking, I'm like, oh, fuck, I didn't get anything on me. I look over, bro. And now look at, watch. I'll be, I'll be the passenger guy to you. This is how he looked at me. So he's like this. Tsh! He turns around and goes, <laughs> and he looks at me, bro. And there's a fucking one piercing his eyes shut. Oh, there, bro, his whole side of his body was cu- caught. At, and bro, it was fresh and healthy. So it was heavy, bro. It was heavy, it, big jumping cactus. Fat needles. Bro, he, my dad, dude, we, I drove down. Everyone came up. No one could get them off of him. Because they were laughing so hard. Uh, he was screaming bloody murder, bro. And they're trying to pull him off him. And my, as my dad's pulling him off with pliers, they're falling onto my dad. God <laughs> yeah, damn yeah. it. Dude, that reminds me of fucking one. Oh, shit. Dude, so one time, whenever Efren lived at his grandma's <laughs> house up my street, mm-hmm. uh, he would always be grounded. But so one time he was able to go play. Yeah. And his grandma was just like, you better not fucking go in the desert. Little lo behold, me and Efren go into the fucking desert. We're going to our little hangout spot. It's surrounded by fucking jumping cactus. Efren gets a fucking jumping cactus in his hand, tries to take it out, gets it stuck in his other fucking hand. Yes. And oh, then shit. And then in the end, he just had to fucking go to his grandma and just be like, I got jumping fucking cactus stuck in my hand. And he got in trouble. I had to go home. Damn, dude. Um, Efren strikes me as the guy who got hurt a lot. Was he? <laughs> so, um, speaking of that same neighbor across the street whose yeah. house we used to go to, she had a, a grandson who was like a year or two older than us, and he skated too, so he was cool with us. Okay. And uh, he had a tree fort. like he, he was like working on a tree house. And we had like this little mop bucket, like a big mop bucket and a dog leash, and right. we would like pull stuff up to the top with it. Yeah. Efren got into it one time and fucking leaped out and just Dude. fucking hit the ground. What a fucking idiot. It was hilarious. And I know he's listening to this episode. Cause if we're going to be streaming the Lenny's album on this episode, Oh no, we're not. We're not going to do that. No, we're not going to do okay. that. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't want that to be done. Gotcha. Either. No, I just so. wanted to listen to it off. Off, off mic. mic. Yeah. Yeah. We're professional. Off, say that. Off, re- <laughs> off record. Off, the, off the books. Yeah. I just fucking, uh, yeah, no, of course not. I didn't want to do that. That wasn't even the plan I had. You said um, you want to do a listening podcast. 
Oh no, I said with all of us. Like yeah, if that's all of us a better were there. idea. Yeah. Um yeah, like yeah, so we could, but it was more of a commentary. Yeah, Should we podcast. play any songs? Should we play Ronald Reagan for this? Um for this you podcast? could uh you know what song I will let you play that. You know you know what? My team will let you play because they'll get into what a whole bunch of. What is your financial team going to let you well, play? Hey, no, can you stop it's my, it's kicking actually, my. It's actually damn more my desk. legal team. I don't know what. Yeah, what is it? Hold on, eight, let me. Uh, let me yeah. te- let, we'll just keep talking. I'm going to text my guy and I'll let you know what song we can play. How about that? Stupid continue. Bitch. Okay, continue. This so, is your podcast. Efren, yeah, I, F, Efren, I forgot. I fucking F Dog. Woo woo. I fucking love Efren. Let's play one of his songs. Yeah. You want to play one of his songs? Yeah. What um, song? I don't know. I'll have to talk to my, so, <laughs> your my legal team. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, to even see. Yes. Yeah. Because it's going to be a Lenny song. Actually, you know what song we're going to play? Have you played um, uh, fucking whatchamacallit? I haven't played whatchamacallit. The Candy Bar? No. Um, Get Shum? Uh, yes, I streamed it on a different With podcast. With Nick? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I heard that. That was actually funny. I love how he bags on you. He told me he wants to do a whole podcast where he's just it's just dedicated to him just Eating your shit. You know what's funny about that is that if Nick wanted to do that, he would come to me about it and be like, "Oh, he told me no. It was that I, night. It was that night with Gage. Oh, he told me that. He's like, you know, it's funny. I want to do a podcast. How he does? He's all. He's yeah. always laughing his words. I'm like, <laughs> but he. Um, oh, I can't wait till Nick listens this. Yeah. Fuck you. He's Nick, always like, you I just want to do a podcast <laughs> where he's like, in the thing, just I just rip on him. I just fucking rip on him. That's my impression of Nick. So I'll play him actually in this movie that's coming out when he passes away soon. <laughs> it's nuts. We already invested all the money. He, uh, in his will, he said, if I'm going to know I'm going to die ahead of time, I want a movie made now. He's like, write me out. So people, so when I die when I'm 80, they're like, why does this movie end when he's 26? Or he's like, <laughs> he's like but he's, st- and then they're just like, but he's still alive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Dude, every, every pick, that's what we're going to do for pick Nick. the song. Yeah, you know her. It's not important right now. Oh, dude, I, you I'm waiting for my legal team. Are you no. waiting for your legal team? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be your... Oh, dude, you want to play in the middle? That's actually a better idea. Let me tell this legal team to hurry the fuck up. Well, no, I'm, I'm just saying that so that we could take a little smoke break. Okay. Um... That's what I... Like, honestly, with this Roadcaster, bro, I've been using, like, playing people's songs hey, as just, like, a smoke don't break. Don't tell them that. That's the magic of Hollywood. You just killed the hey, illusion. Uh show bro. Cut that don't last part. Hey, <laughs> don't hey, let them uh, know that. No, Nadav. Cut that last part, dude. I I don't I don't I don't listen to that enough. But I love the guy that laughs in the background. That's ah, uh, you just ah, hear him like. Ah, ah. I wonder if they pay that guy because dude, oh, dude, that guy works for Tom. Yeah, but do they no, pay the, him? No, I'm saying, do they pay him to laugh? Like, is that his fucking job? No, I just think that that is, who is that laughing? It's it's their sound guy. <laughs> So they sit in the sound booth. I know they fuck with it because they haven't changed he's their, it. He's pretty much their producer. And their he, live show, their, their live audience. He's their Jamie. It's him. And then there's a guy that works the cameras. N- Nadav. So Nadav works the sound. I love and when like he doesn't want to pull something up. And then Burgess See, I haven't watched it enough to know the ongoing joke still. Oh, remember I told you I'm so old school with it. Like, I know the old thing. Like, he's yeah. racist. Yeah, exactly. Nah, Burke smells like shit and fuck Is that the now. thing? Okay, yeah. so it has to be. Okay. And he's all right with that now? Yeah, well, he'd rather fuck... Fuck dogs. Then the last then episode races. I watched of their thing was when, dude, you know what's funny about Bert that I used to hate that I've kind of, it's grown on me now, is when he laughs everything as well, where he's like, I swear to God, I'm like, you just talking about their like, like, dude, I'm like, ah. Reminds me of you. <laughs> dude. No, well, I don't talk a lot when I laugh. Like, I'll laugh and talk some. You're the next I can Van talk Wilder, bro. Dude, I fucking wish I talked better, man. Yeah, uh, go see a speech a pathologist. Speechologist. I love how you've never given me any other doubt that I'm wrong about myself. Like you've never been like, nah, you don't sound like shit. Like Gage was like, no, nah, dude, everyone has their own shit. Everyone's their own worst critic. But you've always been like, yeah, dude, you have a horrible voice. Yeah, because I'm gonna make a fucking champ out of you, bud. Yeah, <laughs> but I have a horrible voice. How could it be a champ? Cut me, Mick. You know it's crazy. I mean, people listen. I- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I said this, I might have said this on the last podcast too. But you gotta eat lightning and crap thunder, <laughs> dude. You and your reference, bro, to that. I have heard that. That's funny. Oh, I think I said that on the last podcast. <laughs> this fucking this Michelob Ultra. This infusion, episode is brought to you by Michelob Ultra Infusion. Tastes, it, tastes it tastes like, it tastes like a like? cactus that I just bit off of the trail. I'm hiking now. It tastes like um, it t- it just tasted like a chalada right now to me. Chihuahua. Uh, let's play like the, uh, Let's play A to Z. A to Z. Okay. Yeah, that's what my guy said right now. <laughs> okay. My finance guy. My uh, my, my, my legal wait, guy. Who's Ricky Garcia? Why is he replying to my? Did I comment on someone named Ricky Garcia? 
Who knows, dude? But um, I was only on my phone because ah, I was that's finding music name. and trying to talk to to my fucking legal team. Oh, I'm just I'm, to Gabriel. I'm looking at my legal team. Gabriel. His name's Gabriel. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. I don't remember his last name. I'm just kidding. I just don't want to say it. I'm sorry, Gabriel. He's my legal guy. Okay, this I is love a, everything you do. This is a Lanny Sean called A to G off of their last album. What is it called? Their last mixtape. Um, album. Los Locos Van La Verdad. All right, here the it crazy goes. see the truth. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. this is very close. Az, Yo, man. Crazy, man. hell yeah! Mm-hmm. All those motherfuckers gonna be standing mm-hmm. out and shit, you know. Mm-hmm. It's cause we mm-hmm. individuals. Different. Flipping Scotty, flipping, tipping all these waitresses Slanging rocks up on the block where the racist lives My mind's a little more complex than the matrices Oh, you didn't hear? Bitch, take a fucking quiz This is the kid and I'm running with the fucking rhymes Freestyling, freestyling, we styling I'm smiling cause we riding out, riding out No doubt is I just run my mouth, oh no one more time in this motherfucker Here we go, I'm repping Arizona Yeah And don't you wanna see my different personas I can do anything See the rap, I am a clever band Drumming on tracks, you know That's just how Arizona rolls We got everything out here, man We got all of it A to fucking Z It's fucking hot as fuck, man we got everything from A to Z, including me. I'm a boy that you pay to see. The show ain't free. I'm a B here to the end. You know you like it, you can fucking present. A for absolutely fantastic. B for boom bap, bang bum bastard. C for CDs causing car crashes. D dumb asses. E for every evening eating nada. F for fuck everything. G G's harder. I for I do what. Ever I got a J for J Gross snorts way more powder K for clever known as the greatest DJ ever L O Slopes loves Lesbos clothes like Slenyos Dro Plus we keep the G's up and all hoes low And for make money make money money mo And for never say no Oh 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 people punk pussies praise those Lenny's queens quiver roly runs those fates Stay true and be brave totally rad and street skate You for only you can change your way Be for very up Absurd MCs better vacate. W, we come through when nobody's home. Silence can rock a mic or a xylophone. You already know we rep the AC. Specifically the 520. All right. Yeah, dude, that song was dope. We definitely, obviously, we went in with a mindset that we wanted to do a fucking tribute to that. Efren to a fucking to Z. killed it. Because Efren, like, uh, as I think a lot of people know already, but if you don't and you're a new listener with us, welcome. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, but yeah, welcome. You started 23 time. minutes into the yeah. episode. So, fucking um, Efren, well, during that time, during that whole album, um, we were separated and we were so we were like so into it that we fucking would uh we would sit by our computers as the other one would re- would record in Arizona he would i'd be in california during the time yeah. and he would be like all right dude i just finished my verse i'm like all right send it over i've already written mine so he would send it over now he's waiting by his computer yeah. waiting for me to send. so when he sent me that song, we already like had both collaborated on it where we had, well, the idea, the concept where we're like, dude, let's make an AZ song, but an alphabet song. And, but I didn't know how it was going to go. Cause I hadn't heard it yet or what he wanted to do. Cause he was very much running it. Um, but we both like had wanted to do something like that. So he just kind of ran with it and yeah. he, so he had already a concept, right? That was kind of a few things like that. I mean, but it went both back Back and forth. It was either a challenge to one person or the other. The reason why is because the other person would um, be the one with the um, with the advantage because they came up with the concept, right? So me and him would go back and forth. So then the one that's kind of has less of a fucking idea of the vision for it, yeah, it's kind of like okay, now I just gotta wait for him to send back the verse and figure. Like I don't even know what to write yet because I feel like this on the beat. But what are we gonna we? Okay, I don't want to make it sound sloppy. Like we didn't know what we, uh, what the topic and the vibe was gonna be, yeah. but it was more like 
okay, what is he going to, what is he going to touch on? Cause I don't want to write. Cause what if he already touches on this? Yeah. So that's what it was. So I was excited to get that one back. And he was like, when he's like, Hey, I want you to actually rap most of this song. I was like, damn, like I was like, I told you right now, like I was fucking flattered because I was like, I don't know. Efren's the shit to me. I'm like, and not just that. Cause like, he made you. And not, yeah, dude, shut the fuck up. So, uh, inside so joke. Anyways. So he fucking, um, he, ah, oh, that fucking threw me off. Um, <laughs> he fucking, typical. you, typical you, motherfucker. Exactly, bro. I'm saying that, bro. Uh, I just said typical. That's a word. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. You were saying that, you know, Efren told you that he wanted you to rap yeah, most of the song, and you were f- flattered by it. Yeah, well, because I was just like, I think for that, you should. <laughs> like, not even rap at all, but like, I didn't even know he was going to do a melody thing. Maybe that's why I was confused almost when he was like, I want you to rap most of it because I was like, like, cause then I was like, well, what are you going to fucking do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Not even like, what are you going to do? But like, are you not rapping? And then it made sense when he sent it to me cause he's just harmonizing. Right. He's like, I'm Here and there, he'll in come the driver's out. seat yeah. with a pine of lean. So he, uh, sent that back to me and then it already had motivated me. I was already the fucking, uh, the, the song pretty much wrote itself after that, after he sent it to me, I already knew the vibe already knew what was going to motivate me. Cause I knew it was going to be, a, we, cause he had referred to a to Z and he said, a Z, we got everything from a to Z. So I was like, okay, I'm going to fucking do an alphabet rap. And that's kind of what he had in mind. So he's like, perfect. That's exactly what how I was long thinking. did it take you to come up with your part? Uh, very quick, like those passionate ones, dude. Um, like I said, it almost fucking wrote itself because I had two important things that you need in that sense. Yeah, I had motivation and just fucking just excitement and enthusiasm, and it just it moved my emotion when he sent me his fucking verse. I was just like, dude, yes, like I'm that I'm that boy that you came to see. I can't do everything, sing or like I'm quoting here and there, but I'm like. All those different things, like, I could do everything, sing a rap, I am a clever bang, drumming on tracks, you know? Like, he's yeah. talking about all of his different things. So he's like, it's all double entendre, the whole fucking thing. He's talking about, we got everything in AZ, That's could, that could be one. But the main focus is like, I got all these, like, I'm... I wear multiple hats. I'm a jack of all trades. I could, I could do anything, sing or rap. You know what yeah. I mean? And then it's AZ Arizona. So like, I, so like that was the motivation. What was the second important, uh, next important thing I had uh, for the success of that was um, reference. So the AZ, there's a rapper, but someone who I know it for maybe uh-huh. just because I'm a millennial because I know it's an older song that he was singing, but I know it because I saw it um, on Jimmy Fallon, Daniel Radcliffe doing. A for amateur painting, B for bomb and a bomb bombarding, C for dun dun dun. Yeah, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do something like that, but I'm gonna put more words in front of it. Yeah. So like, and then like A for absolutely fantastic, A, A for absolutely B for boom bad ba- bangs. Oh yeah. B for, B for boom, boom bat bu- bangs bum bastards. C for CDs causing car crashes. D dumb asses. E for every evening eating nada. So I'm not just writing the same thing, but it's very Tech Nine, very Aaron Yates of me to fucking go fucking like, uh, da, 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 like the kind of the similar cadence. Si- well, no, not the cadence, but I'm talking about t- more technical. Where I'm talking about it's the same syllable and it's the same letter at the beginning, okay. starting at the each word. So I was like, oh, cool. Well, because it's the I, alphabet. No, well, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So there was a lot of keys where it was like almost wrote itself. Where it was like, yeah. this makes sense. Okay. I'm doing a bunch of C's now. Yeah, you know. So like. And I was like, all right, on to the D's. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, but what was dope about it, you know what it was very similar to actually? Was, do you remember being in like a kid and you did that thing where it's like, okay, write your name straight down. Now write yeah. something that describes you based off each letter at the beginning yep. of the, that's almost what it was. So it was like. K, uh, K for Clevin, uh, uh, K for what did I say? K for Clevin, known as the greatest DJ ever. Yeah. L O slopes likes Lesbos clothes and we'll keep the G's up and all hoes low. And for make money, make money, money mo. And for that, dude, so like, and then the whole rollie for So then I want to start referencing people and things. And for never say no. And then I'm like, uh, Roly runs those fades. Stay true and be brave. I said for stab. Stay and true and never be brave. caught that until now. Yeah, stay true and be brave. Uh, 
you for only yeah, now I fucked this one up. I said <laughs> you for only you can change your ways, but you is spelled with a Y. Yeah. I wanted to go back and rewrite it, but I knew I was gonna change it was gonna change up my whole flow pattern after that. So I was like, nah, I can't, I'm not gonna risk it. It's fucking they get it. Dang, I didn't even know there was two Y's in the fucking alphabet. Yeah. <sighs> and then I like the last one. What I think I made the last one a sound effect where it was like Z. It was like Z buzz. Uh, yeah. Was like, I don't know. I was all Van Hagar. <laughs> Sammy Hagar Van Halen or You want some of this? You're getting all fucking lackadaisical over there and shit. Yeah, it's because my sinus is really starting to fucking you're cr- bother me. It's He's kinda got COVID. Kinda me if you're headache. listening to this, you now got COVID because you're in the same vicinity as him when you listen to it. I used to think that when I was a kid. I was like, damn, John Jay and Richard just right there. They're in my ear. No, I didn't think that, but I was like, they're close enough where I could hear them. Close to the <laughs> Yeah, I'm dying slowly. Why? I'm just tired. I've been up for a while. You're tired? Jesus Christ. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. You're going to save us all. Well, welcome to the Religious Podcast. I'm your host, Deacon uh, Solace. And with me is my son and fellow pastor, Andrew. Bastard. You never watched Game of Thrones? I watched it. Just like, smoke a number real quick. I just had to fucking smoke a number, cocksucker. What up? Uh, Mom, you're fucking dead. Uh, <laughs> Stole a God damn you. <laughs> they already got the punchline. I can't do it. Uh, no, I watched Game of Thrones like once during a drinking game. You know what drugs is like, kids? It's like... Hanging imagine, out with your friend imagine it, You know what drugs are like, kids? It's a lot like going to drink a Coca-Cola, putting it to your lips, taking the sip, and it's a Mountain Dew. You know what drugs are like? Drinking the drink you didn't think you were going to drink. You know what drugs are like? Is that not pretty accurate right there? No. Yeah. Just no, depends. No, if you want, no. If, if, you, we're if talking you've about a brain never twist, done, not, done drugs. Yeah. I'm talk, that's what I'm saying. Do you know what drugs are like, kids? Sometimes. Sometimes this is exactly what you pictured it to be. Just depends. Hopefully not. Just depends on. Hopefully fucking Just depends not. on who taught you because some people <laughs> might teach you that, like, you know, weed is like. Like if yeah, you watch Reefer Madness, if you I watch do, Reefer Madness, you I th- did watch it because it was on your watch list when I watched Showtime. What did you think about it? I thought it, it reminded was, me of a racer head. It was stupid, wasn't it? Have you ever seen a racer head? I heard a racer head's one of the most fucked up movies. It's a horror. That's weird. Because the guy who wrote it is um God damn it. He fucking wrote that one detective movie too that's on Netflix. Twin De- Twin Peaks. Uh Oh, what's his name? Starts with an L, I think. David Finch. Yes, David Finch starts with an L. That L man, is silent. That man is a silver fox that I wish I could fucking be, dude. Pull up a fucking picture of him. I nope. Hey, <laughs> Jamie. Never going to do that. Do you know what he looks like? All right, welcome to the N. Lopez podcast. Shut the fuck up. Do you know what he looks like? I don't care what he looks like. He probably looks like me. Um, I know what boys like. I know what guys want. I know what... <laughs> he, uh, he, I don't know how old he is, but he aged very well. You know, those, some, have you ever seen guys like that that yes. are very old? And you're like, damn, man. You don't, do you think you'll age well? No. Why? People think I look 30 already. <laughs> yeah, damn. Is Amara aware that you're not going to age well? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because if she catches on that I'm ugly, then she'll... Hopefully, you know, realize she could do better, but I love her, so I would, you know, there's part of me that wants her to stay and suffer with my ugly ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Love is selfish. It can be. Love is. Love oh. is what they say. <laughs> you know what, dude? Some say love is a river that drowns the tender eve. Really? Some say love is a flower. Love is a flower. Some say you love. Wanna, you want to re- you know, if you if you had the proper equipment, I could be. You could sing that good. I can go most anywhere. Sense? Yeah, dude. My dad used to tell me I should get into opera singing. No, or don't, don't do that. Or like lounge no, singing, do like that, Frank Sinatra. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. Are you telling me I can't sing to a big band? Like I, I, don't, can, I, I can't sing like. You sing hey, that. ladies, what you doing tonight? How you feeling, Get feeling bright? Say that again. Don't you feel like everything is spinning? 
bro, do a Christmas album. Actually, I could fucking get down to that. I could get cozy to that. Yo, that's could. a voice I could get cozy it's to. Called, dead it's called it's like lounge singing because you would go it's from called, like lounge to it's lounge. It's called swing music, dog. Swing motherfucker. Yeah. I could do that. Oh. I'd be like, oh, lady, be a luck tonight. You know who's great? You know what my guilty pleasure is? <laughs> you listen to Seth MacFarlane, bro? No, uh, he can. You no, know what he, I mean? he's a good singer, bro. Yeah, it's a joke, but yeah. No, no, and, no. He has serious No, music. I mean like where he uses a joke, like where Brian the Dog sings opera and shit. Well, no, he, he has albums out that it's just like him singing lounge music or well, swing. Sorry. No, well, no, I said it. Like, and you got to you have to. No, no, that was proper. It seemed like it's called it, swing, it right? seemed almost snobby. <laughs> the what, way me? you said it. Right. <laughs> but so you got to say it like this. You got to say, ah, you're listening into some swing music. Huh? Swing. Dude. Hey, bro. I appreciate you for letting me update this shit here, bro. Oh, my God, dude. I needed this. Was shit. it better than the Wi-Fi at your house? Yeah, I don't have Wi-Fi at my house. Oh, did your grandma really live there? Or does oh, she, like barely? She live? lives there, bro. Very minimally, dog. Like she doesn't. She, she only has three. Most of she only time. has. She's dude. She's always everywhere. She's always like. She doesn't want to be home. She used to take care of my great grandma. She used to be in Colorado. Like my grandma is a fucking Rolling Stone, dude. That, she's the she's the fucking. Are you saying that they wrote that song about her? I'm saying you wrote that song about her because a couple I'm notes ago to. I fucking told you if you had the right equipment you probably could. And I'm going to one day. Isn't that crazy? Just a natural rap, or did you hear the rhythm in that? Because I told you if you got the right equipment, then you probably would. I'm just kidding. Hey, so check it out, though. You should do a fucking boo-op fucking song. Doo-op, 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 uh, yeah. No, you know that song by, uh, did you ever listen to that? Wild the Coyote, where it's like, no, I can't write love songs anymore of the man on the hill. No, Or the mayor. I could probably do a song like that. I was thinking, yeah. I've been thinking lately that I want to. No. I want to get with my. I, uh, I stand alone waiting for you. Yeah, I can, can play. you play that motherfucker real quick? You want to play a yeah, song? Play it. Yeah, fucking shout them out, dude. They're great, bro. I've been watching their come up hey, for years. All dude. I've got to say is, do they have respectfully, dude? No, these guys are awesome. Don't okay. even talk shit. These guys. I'm not trying to. No. Oh, I thought you're trying to make a joke no. off of it. No, dude, no, they're fucking great. No, I'm saying is, do these guys have a label? Are we gonna? Are we gonna get? No, 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 no. They're, they're flagged bigger. for copyright. No, no, no. Are they not that? No, they're big? not. No, they're big, bro. Like, I don't want to discredit them, but no, it's, it's not no, like that. It's, it's not, not legal. No, no, it's not This that. would be promotional. This would be viewed no, as promotional. No, I get that, but the way that it picks it up is if this algorithm identifies that we're playing the exact fucking song that they have yeah. in, that like, on their fucking thing, they'll they'll flag us. No, we'll be good. We'll be good. I hope so. And if anything, I'll DM them. Like, hey, send me the rights to your song. And he'd be like, okay, give me $500. No, so he... um, What's this song called? As long as you're promoting them and they're not promoting you. You get what I'm saying? Hopefully. Yeah, so... I mean, I guess we'll find out. What's this song called? It's called... Um, oh, fuck. What is it called? It's called... Um, look up Wild the Coyote... Uh, is it from... Bad Wolf. Bad Wolf, Wild the Coyote. It's called... Because it's not called what they say in the song. It's called... Um, shit. Can't think of the fucking name. Feel bad for it, but no. It's Wild the Coyote and Bad Wolf, dude. He, has a, he also has a fucking song. Well, he has a whole album called Phantom and the Black Crow, right? Then he, then Bad Wolf, bro, drops his fucking track called Do It For Dale, is Dale it, Earnhardt. So is this a Wild the Coyote song or is this a Bad Wolf song? It, um, oh, this is a fucking collab. This is their group. I don't know. They don't have a name for their group. We're Swamp Gang. Swamp Gang to the fucking death of me, man. Honestly, it would just help if you fucking gave me the song. Is it Down River with Big Henry? No, it looks like... Dog Days? No, keep seeing it, though. It'll come up. The Runaway. No. Part 2, The Hollow no. Beyond the Thicket EP. No. Reaper. No. Down River. Okay, I just said it. Dog Days. No. No Pain Like Now. No. Run in. No. Haunted every day. No. Yeah, I'm going to go to Bad Wolf's music. I know you cry in your sleep. Do -do. I know you. <laughs> dude, they kill it, dude. They're fucking great, though. Could not tell you, bud. Um, Johnny Cash, alone. Man in Black. No, that's a good song. I-64. No. Feet Wild, the Coyote. No. From the grave to the... Yep, that's it. From the grave to the stars. Okay. From the grave to the stars, I'm right where you are. But since you left me, I don't, I can't, you know. 
Ooh, what you think about that right there? Speak on that. I like it already. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cheers, bro. This, this is going great. Salud. I hope that you wait for me. I can't get out. My love song, Jenny Moore. Yeah, man, their fucking music is fantastic, <laughs> dude. Fucking badge testing. <laughs> dude. Damn, much... man, I was going to tag them in that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you save it? No. <laughs> oh, I don't got another fart in me, bro. I can't do another fart. <laughs> bro, don't throw shame on that shit, dude. That shit was No, that was awesome. Wicked. I fucking love that shit. I've added that to my mix playlist, bro. <laughs> the great mix. <laughs> But they fucking um, amazing, right? No, I, bro, I, Bad Wolf. So I liked, he's from a town my, called the song that Templeton, I, the song that California. I liked what that you showed me was uh, "Welcome to the Boondocks," and I showed my little brother that song. No mercy. And I was like, "Yo, what do you?" Because I like that song that goes boom, boom, down, boom, boom, So every down, time I hear boom, something a little country, down the river, I always try and show my little brother, and I'm just like, "What do you think of this?" And he's just like. It's not bad, and I'm just like, ah, you're too used to like the usual. You country. like that? You like that fucking Christian rock country? That fucking after 2010 country? I like no, that. Pat, the mechanic raised up from under my Pat, hood. Pat's I love that. That's like like fucking Hank Williams. Uh, oh, Conway so he is Oh, then he'll like a guy named um, uh, Joshua Headley. He probably knows that guy. Actually, he does. Joshua Headley. Yeah. Uh, um. Uh, I'm Mr. Jukebox. Couldn't tell. Dude, I, Fantastic. He, well, so. he has a song called Mr. Jukebox, and it plays on the whole tundra of you, a jukebox, where he's like, I've, this is the only bar I've known. He's like, I've, I don't know the lyrics, but he's talking, he's, he's referring to himself as a jukebox, but it's really one of those guys who are grinding themselves out just to Tennessee, song, just playing, playing song songs that song. everybody knows. But he's talking to himself like in double, you know what I mean? I get that. It's like, hey, he's play, like for a nickel. Like, he's hey, like, I play will. this song. And yeah. he's just like, okay. He's like the same so tune like, I've he's, ever. He's known. like a jukebox. Yeah, that's, that's dope. I love how he he does have this one reference. I don't know the lyrics, but I know this reference is uh, or the metaphor. Yeah. He's like, feed me a nickel, and I'll play you a tune that will change your life, or you'll fall in love. Basically, he's like making people fall in love. Nice. And he's like, that will change your life. And think about it, like the whole thing of that, where it's like. Say you're with a girl, you play that one song, and you just make that connection at that hmm. one moment. And that's what he's talking about. He's like, give me a nickel, and I'll change your life. That's not the fucking lyric, but it's something like that. Could be. I he's mean, probably listening to this and thinking, yeah, he's fuck, I should have. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's Could, like, I should have. Uh, I should have. And then. Put another dime to the jukebox, baby. And the next thing you know, dude. Room. Hey, did you like did you like the movie uh, Back to the Future? I was talking to Goonie about this recently. Did he not like it? No. He okay. So hold on, I'll start this conversation like this. What's your favorite Western? <sighs> Mine would be like True Grit. I like True Grit a lot. Which both one? the old one and the okay. new. I like fucking both. I hate people who are like, no, it's not like they're no motherfucker. It is shot better. It is well. It's just better cameras exactly. and better, better. Act. It's a different. So if you like the it's no, like, it's almost shot for shot the same movie. That's well, what I'm saying. Like no, but else. it's like it's different. No, acting Daniel, styles. it is dead at yeah. No, it's a fucking. No, it's not the same. They're actor, but, yeah. two different generations of acting, bro. What's his name? The guy who plays Jeff Bridges, dude. Could you imagine? I love Jeff Bridges, but he's like a Nick. He's a Nick Cage in my head. He's he's another Nick Cage. Jeff uh -huh. Bridges is in my world. Like, if that vibes, um, he. Could, in all seriousness, could you imagine being him being that honored? Because you know his like, you know he's that Western guy that definitely knows fucking. Um, well, he's that dude that grew up probably watching, watching John, Wayne. John Wayne, and to receive a role where it's like John Wayne, bro. Like, well, you had to have been the same thing like for James Franco and and fucking when he played uh, James Dean. He's probably like, James fucking Dean. You want me to play James Dean? Oh, exactly. You're tearing me apart. Uh, that like you know same with fucking um, Jerry uh, fucking geriatric patients. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh well, fuck um, is his name? Hold know, on, uh, hold on. Well, Heath Ledger had the same thing for the guy. They're like, you're playing the Joker, fucking um, 
the dude who <laughs> Jim Carrey. Why? And Andy uh, Kaufman. Oh, dude, did you watch that documentary? I didn't watch the documentary, but I watched. Oh, bro, d- don't even say shit till I you know, watch the documentary. No, I don't know if you I, were I don't know if I watched right the document. I, I think I watched the documentary. He I, became I don't, Andy. Dude. I don't think I watched. The, he was referred to so, as Andy. But, well, so he he did that for a, a movie, right? Yeah. So remember I, when I, everyone I, thought I he lost his mind so in real life? I, yeah. So I haven't of watched of the movie, but I've watched the documentary about him going into that role. Yes, not the movie. I'm talking about the documentary. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've watched okay, the documentary. Okay, so do you remember... Who's the guy's name? Um, Danny DeVito, okay? Yeah, because he worked with him on Taxi. Okay, do you remember in the documentary, do you remember a point where he starts crying because Jim Carrey's acting like him so good? He's like, that's Andy. Yeah, Bro, I, I almost cried. I have that... I have that... What? These masculine men would say that pussy six cents were like... Things like that tug on my fucking heartstrings. And you I'll mean fucking, you're empathetic, bro? You yeah. can feel but when you other know, people you are know, feeling dude, pain? You know, dude. Everyone listening I, right now is probably no. shocked because everyone thinks I'm an asshole and a yeah, piece of shit. Yeah, because everybody that's listening to this has a fucking big-ass dip in their lip, and they're probably thinking about <laughs> how their fucking senior year, <laughs> they all, about our fans they like fucking that. almost took state. Don't talk about my family. And like they that. were just like, three-peat, three-peat, we're going to get a fucking three-peat. Nope. Lost because you guys are bragging. You know what my fans are, I'll be honest with you, are the kind of people that use the word twofer. (laughs) That right there. (laughs) That's a fucking twofer. (laughs) Yep, that's the that's what guess what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna smack my knee, but most importantly smack my microphone way in the fuck away from me, trying to prove a (laughs) stupid fucking point. Embarrass myself in front of the live studio Uh, audience. Just kidding. This is the freaks. Who were you talking about when I said Jeff Bridges? Uh, You're like, how do you think? Oh, were you talking about Andy Kaufman? Is it Kaufman or Hoffman? Kaufman. No, Andy Hoffman is a professional (laughs) skateboarder, right? You're thinking of Matt Matt Hoffman, Hoffman. professional BMX. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Don't don't talk on that cord. (laughs) It's my heartstrings, bro. Uh, Well, my fucking. Money. Lifeline, <laughs> you're fucking, you're, you're, he puts. Did you hear that, folks? Nathaniel pumps mo- a money into my heart. Yeah, I pump money into the hearts of a thousand. I'm gonna make the next Jim Carrey's, Jamie Foxes. I'm. Hey, gonna but do you that. do know though. Okay, so but do you remember that happening where he was crying because he's like, that's him. He's acting so yeah. good. It remind. I couldn't imagine being as close as I am with you as he was to him, and, and in the future else act as you. And then them doing it so good that I'm crying because I'm like, this is fucking Nathaniel. Could you imagine that? Uh, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Dude. But could you imagine that? Try to put yourself in that perspective for me or Efren. Probably Efren. Well, no. So the thing would be is it would You know what's funny? It would Andy Kaufman would play Efren if he was alive. <laughs> That's who I could picture playing Efren if no, it was back in the day. So check this out. Who would play Efren back it's in the day? It's not going to be me. It's not going to be Efren. Sorry, bud. What? It's gonna be you. Why? We're gonna be the ones crying because someone's portraying Playing you <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> Who would portray me perfectly? Some unknown, probably from Iowa or something. <laughs> Some guy. And he's just like probably Indianapolis, and he's just like, yeah, I've been studying Sir Andrick's work. Like I oh liked it. No, he's God. like he's like I've been I've been studying Jose and Andy Solace Andres, my whole life. Andrick. I, like I watched all of his movies. I even got really into his Sir Andrick phase. <laughs> His face, dude. Exactly, yeah. bro. Because you're, because oh, yeah, you, probably you're bound to be more than just an MC. Yeah, fuck man, that fucking motivated me. Yeah, all not right. That's die. the end of this podcast. We're gonna go make a million dollars. <laughs> not <laughs> just to, kidding. not to die, but damn, damn to look forward to. Well, I don't want to die, but that'd be crazy. Well, I hope, that's the do you thing, think dude. You'd be able to watch s- your own movie when you die. Do you think God at least gives you that? Well, it's like, the, well, so this is what I hope. I hope that if there is an afterlife, I hope it's this and. What it is, and even I can mind fuck you, maybe mind fuck you for a second, but um, when I die, I hope that I sit in a room, yeah, and I I can just watch my whole life, like and feel yeah. everything I felt. But then again, I also oh, you're watching. That's like Truman Show. Pretty much, it's just like watching. Have you ever seen Truman Show? Yeah, I love that movie. Ever showed it to me? Sad. One of my favorite Eminem lyrics is where he says, um, he says, um, he says, my life is my life is Truman Show. <laughs> <clears throat> he says, my life is Truman Show. All yeah. I have is music, ho. So, like, he's, like, just, like, just that. It, not even the rhyme. It's just simply the fact that, like, my life is Truman Show. Because I could see that for him. Yeah, Because like- he is. Because he's the entertaining. He's the entertainer. That dude, before Yellow Wolf lost his mind, there's a video of him losing his mind on fucking stage, throwing amps and shit and everything. 
and yeah, flipping the fuck out. He says something during his rant while he was his mic was still on while he was on stage losing his mind before they cut him out and got him the fuck off oh, stage. Yeah. He, I he was yeah, video. well before he says that. Uh, dude, like I had thought of this like a year prior or like a while back before that happened is I said, isn't it crazy? And I think it was stemmed off of that Eminem lyric where he says, my life is Truman show. It's true. We are an audience. We, you are the monkey. Why? Because you wouldn't be making the money you do if we didn't view you. And if we didn't think you're entertaining, so entertain us monkey, we're going to give you money. Exactly. So here we are now. So yeah. Entertain us. Our or that song, guy, Kurt Cobain. Yeah, yeah. Or or we don't have say you, that have name you heard, on this podcast. Have you heard the song Clout uh, Cobain, where no. he says suicidal thoughts? Call me. He's like, I don't want to kill myself. Dude, it's so fucking good. So him, uh, where, what the fuck was I saying though? Before you went off on the Kurt fucking faggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I use the wrong pronoun. What that's I meant. Not, that's not even a pronoun. It's just, <laughs> or whatever it's called. Well, I, it doesn't even matter. That's not it's a conjunction. Get into this. I don't even know what a conjunction is. That's how good of a rapper I am. I, I can like almost smell where that was. That? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the moist mucky. Yeah. I can smell like air. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, I'm gonna update. I'm gonna upload this episode when I'm. At you know, work it's funny. We started a whole bunch of points and never finished them. I People thought that are gonna the, be confused. I thought shit. that was that's pretty the much point it. of this podcast. I think that's the point of podcast in general. Just talking because it really. begs the question. I mean, there are podcasts it. that have specific things, but yeah, hey, I think you, this is just you want a, me to give you the definition of what someone is like when they're a cokehead and they're having conversation. I narrowed it down. Let's hear it. everything they say is a cliffhanger. <laughs> Uh, when you talk to a cokehead, if they made movies, it's a cliffhanger because they will talk about it and you will be like, I guess I got to wait for the sequel. No. <laughs> so a, then you do no, coke with them again. <laughs> just imagine this. It's like a bunch of cliffhangers in one movie, <sighs> but it's like this. So it's like in one movie. No, so that wouldn't work. No, then no, you, this is how it works. So this guy. So you don't even talk about it afterwards. Well, exactly. Well, so this is what happens. That's the idea of the truck the, where the guys rent the truck. That's kind of the idea of the fucking Book I had. Okay, well, all the guys buy a let, truck. They let, keep selling it. And it tells a story. Okay, so let me explain this. It's with the same person. It's just like so. This guy, he's like, get, so he steals a car, and then you know he steals he, two cars. No, no he's still selling every car radio. Shut inside. the fuck up. So he steals a car, and then well, it cut. That you know, a little. He looks in his guys. rear view mirror, and the cop Damn, lights Gabriel's go off. Gabriel's gonna be mad for that because I just shared that. Lyric. Cop lights go off. Yeah, and then it cuts. He's at home doing it's something. He's do. He's at home doing something else. What? And, oh, and then that's and his then, cliffhanger? Yeah, and then he's doing yeah. something else. He's cutting fucking, like, he's cutting an onion really hard. Jesus. And his finger's getting closer. And then right before it cuts down, cuts to a different scene. And he's, oh doing, my so- God. he's doing something you else. You know what would be fucking amazing? And then the conclusion of the movie? Is that's why he's it, in the car no, it's driving because like, no, his fingers no, are all it's cut? No, it should be a party thing where it takes different characters of their perspective of the party. At the end, you see a bird's eye view of the house where there's no roof. You know what I mean? One of those like animated type views. Like a stage house? Yeah. And you see it, everything happen at once, what happens next. So you see the guy cut his finger off and then everyone reacting in their way. Everyone, dude, everyone dies. Well, so the finger thing, I was saying it was the same guy and it's just like, it never explains what keeps happening to this guy, but he just keeps like, you know, losing limbs or not losing limbs. Like the just, next, so the next episode, he doesn't have a limb, but uh, fuck is it an episode or a movie? It's just one movie with, with, I gotta, me, with let's, nothing let's, but cliffhangers. For see how movie. wise you are nowadays. If you were a writer slash director slash producer, you just had, you wore all the hats and you had the choice of making either a uh, television show, a series, hopefully a series. If your pilot is shot correctly and yeah. you have enough faith in yourself to shoot that pilot or a movie, a breakthrough movie, like when Jordan Peele made Get Out. So are you saying where would I rather start? No. What lane would you go for? Let's see how good you are. Because there's a right answer. There, it's not subjective. There is a right answer. I would go for all of them, dude. I wouldn't No, okay, homie, fucking... check this out. But the this is my point I'm trying to get at. Fuck it, because I know you're going to take it to another place. But it's all good. But where I'm trying to take it, because I'll go there and I'll forget well, what so I was trying like, to say. What, what do you mean? Like, well, where okay, would I go to first? Because that's what not, I not think. Not first. Because I, I, mean, I would no, like, no, I mean, I like to believe that I, I would. I'm talking, about your, I'm talking about your lane, though, dude. Because people could do many things, but their lane. 
You know, Rob Your Dick was a pro skateboarder, but yeah, but your lane was actually you were a good host for television. Well, so that's what I mean. So where I think my lane is writing. I think I would be a better fuck, writer. But I gave you an option. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, what would I rather do? Would my, I do a my whole movie? point was this didn't go where I wanted it to, but my whole point was a movie or a show. I was talking about the longevity I, of a TV show where if that pilot does good, you could look at versus one year that was a hit. But you have a television show like like uh, Game of Thrones, and it lasts from 2010 okay. to well, 2019. So well, so check this out. It was nine years. Well, we could get we could, a movie we could, that just well, no. was cool for so a summer. We could, we could get into specifics hit. of this, like so um, making a show. No, there was no more question after that. That was my statement. Well, no, my question was leading to my statement. I didn't want to carry it on as an argument. There was nothing. Well, to no, argue. but I'm going to tell you my point of this, like how I view it. Yeah. So making a show. Depending on like what kind of like if I had to make like a thirty minute show, it's longevity, bro. Well, it depends because if the show's good enough, but that's what I'm and saying. And if you get a contract, but in from the example, a company, the example I used in both these scenarios is, is they were thrones. a hit. No, I'm saying I'm giving you the tools. I'm not saying what if. I'm okay, saying, so if, say this you made show, a hit. if this show was a hit, let me rephrase the question. Okay, if, Would if, you rather have I, a, hit a hit show or a hit movie? Hit show. There you go. That that was it. Especially nowadays, because that show is what did I almost just say? Longevity, as long right? as a movie. Longer, bro. The episode, Game of Thrones. Well, no, well you no, watch so the, like HBO so, series, so right? So the one Whether episode like an hour. is as long as a movie. But no, that's what's interesting why I think, you know, there's actually YouTubers that talk about this. This uh, this is actually an opinion is what's better, an hour long episode of a series that only has four episodes or so that's four hours or 30 minute episodes that has uh, eight, like a eight, uh, series of eight episodes. I'm sorry, dude. I mean- 30 minute eight episodes. Does it make sense? No, okay. I, get, I get what you're saying. Um, first off, that's I, an opinion I, now. Well, no, I, so I guess it just it depends. It depends on, on execution, about, right? on how the director executes it. Because there if are, it's a show there like are Breaking Bad, I think it should be cut short because you want more cliffhanger. That's what exactly you. that's the yeah. And Damn. uh, but you know, like with certain shows, oh, these longer, this longer, like these longer Game episodes Thrones, gives you more information. You know what that's determined by actually. And this is a fact: is how big are they making this world? Ex- well, exactly. How many characters are they putting in? What's the character development pace? Let's discuss the pace of this series. I bet you that's a whole set. I mean, you have never done anything in in the in show business, but I'm willing to bet there's a class that teaches you that. Is, yeah, no, 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 I've learned about that shit. No, no, uh, specific. But do you hear what I said specifically? I'm talking about the pacing, yeah. uh, pacing of character development. Like, okay, here's the character development, but how it's written on paper right here. But how do we make this eight episodes? Pacing. Uh, well, exactly. Right? You know, that's filler of other stuff. And that's yeah. why a lot of shows have many different characters. That's why there's bad episodes. They, sometimes they go well, a direction. Well, so the thing is, not, is like no with Game that. of Thrones, there's like so many different characters and all of them have character arcs. Yeah. And they're like, okay, okay. we're just trying to explain all of that's these characters. That's usually the character development. Time. What's their arc? It, well, yes. Exactly. Okay. So the pacing well, no, is the arc. So the thing is, is I learned how, what's the antagonist? how what movies, are they trying to reach? How, how like things are supposed to be shot at the end, at the end. Yeah. The fucking person should have learned something or should have changed in one way or learned that they weren't going to change. So in Game of Thrones, at the end, do all of the char- are all of the characters still the same? Um, hey, what, are you, what are you watching over there, bro? Fucking talking uh, to... This motherfucker told me earlier... Yes, uh, bro. How often do I do this? I'm talking to someone. Every fucking podcast. You're always on your phone. Dude. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Solace's Freaky Tales on his phone. Yeah, well, fuck, dude, I got notes, bro. I got cliffs. You don't got shit. You're looking at Bumble. But does that make does that make sense though? It's like, so you would go the show route nowadays, yes. Preferably, okay. Now let's talk about this. Let me set this question up right so you don't pick it apart in the wrong way. Is let's talk about from a creative standpoint, how many episodes or i mean seasons would you want realistically because you know you're gonna get sick of it and want you're not gonna want to do nine episodes because at one point you're gonna have a creative difference you're like i want to do weird shit now three and five does that make sense no exactly because i I, get tired i watch shows that get dragged on for too long and they start not making sense well so like the director who made dexter is a good example they got like fucking like weird with it because they're like, where well, else do we go? Well, so the thing is, is like some the places, passion's gone, some the places, it's gone. not even that. It's like some places are like, okay, well, I want to, it's like season five's over. Okay. I don't want to write for the show anymore. You guys got to find a new writer to replace me. I think this new writer comes in and then it's like, okay, well, we're making do. Well, you want to know why those NCIS song, uh, like series never stop? 
because they write in such a real world that we know that we feel like we live in that world and that world's never ending. So that's why that's Are you talking that about how ends. there's like a thousand different cases of Law and Order SVU? Uh, yeah, about yeah, I'm talking rape. about how the characters never die off, how there's no conclusion. I'm talking about how there's no conclusion to a series. It's pretty much like news. Yeah, well, you can't conclude that because there is always crime that's in the world. That's why I said it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. They make it so yeah, real exactly. life that it's not, they're like, it's a thing what are they going to put? Happening. Oh, they, the fucking one of the agents fell out of the airplane. And then President it's Biden not, came and all crime stopped. He's like, he's just, just like, that's what I'm not just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm. I don't know him good enough, like as a person, to I don't even either. make fun of him. That's why I put that fire marshal Bill thing as him. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, right. Fuck. I gotta. I wish I had that in real life, where I could do that to people. Yeah, just bring a snare with you everywhere, <laughs> and a snare and a hi hat. <laughs> just like, hey, a wise man once said, what? "Always carry a snare and a hi hat with you." And now it makes sense. You know what? A wise man also once said. Don't pick the gum at the bottom of your shoe because you won't realize that you're about to step in poo. I told you that thing that that pastor in Florida told me about the dog walking across yeah, the street. Yeah, he was just like, pick it up, fuck it, in the name <laughs> of God. Just like Red Rocket. Shut up, dude. I love Jesus. You have to chant that seven times as you're fucking this dog. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I don't even know what this guy's talking Thanks about. Thanks for listening to Sauce's Freaky Tale. Such a fucking bitch. I, hey, dude, you you're you're scrolling through your phone now. No, it's because someone had messaged me, and then you just got addicted to your phone. What were you on? Because were you looking at the message? Because it looked like you were scrolling through something. Right oh now. yeah, because I was going through our messages. I wasn't yeah. sure what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah, because you're stupid. <laughs> I hope that's all why. Your do, know do, that. Does anyone ever tell you that it's weird to save their messages? Like, hey, why are you saving my messages? Like, so I could fucking read them? No, I mean, has everyone? Because that's obviously my rebuttal. I go because I don't. No, I'm because not I do remember. it to my friends, and they're no, just like, okay. okay. No, because I've had like friends be like, why do you save everything? And I'm like, bro, so I know what the fuck we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, no one's ever really, really? told me anything I, about that. It was really early on in Snapchat I got called out on it, but never any time recent. Yeah. But really early Snapchat. I remember, They're like, why did you have any apps before Snapchat? Like, what did you, when you had your first phone, what were your apps? Facebook. That's it. So you had a, so you're already about social well, media. Well, no, so check, check out. I no. wasn't. I, I never so, had a MySpace, a well, no, Facebook. So I had MySpace first. And I was really into MySpace. All my friends had it. I was a kid who hated technology. Well, so I, I was like kind of, I was kind of into it. I like MySpace because the custom, like, and that's one thing I'm super about. Even video games, like, if you can customize your character, like, make him, yeah, you like feel to be, like you're, I like yeah. to immerse myself in things. Yeah. And that's what was cool about MySpace. You like to express. You like the expression. Exactly. Of, yeah. The more so, you could express. So I MySpace, think games are catching on to that now. MySpace was dope as fuck. I liked it. And then my friends had Facebook and they were like, Yo. Was there a thing where you could scroll like, onto someone's page and the music would play? What was yeah, that? No, it was your playlist. You had a playlist. So and right when they get on your profile? So pretty it, much what you did is you were you were basically learning. Damn, like, I bet you music was easy it, to market the, back then. The, well, dude, so MySpace eventually became, it got bought out and was like, you can go on Apple Music and type in MySpace playlist and there will be bands that got like famous because of MySpace. Yeah, because it's genius. Because well, if you went to my page every time my music played, I'd probably exactly. get a bunch of profile visits. No, dude. And that's, you know, that's the thing is you. Uh, it's like a billboard. They should got, be you, that. I you got to learn how to like that. customize your background, your background. You'd scroll, you click on this dude's like my page. You'd almost make a website then, huh? It sounds like. It's, it's You would make your own little blog pretty much, which was like your own little website on this server, which was MySpace. And you had my top five. You could do top five. You can make it. Did you ever 12. hear that Chris Diella story? What he did? No, dude, listen to this shit. It's his story. I don't want to take credit for it, but so it's 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 one of his stories. It's not a stand up bit, just a story he had on a podcast one time. So, because you know it better than me, like I said, I I was alive for it. Like I was the a, I was of age for social media at that time. Um, if I mean not well, at that time. no, yeah, I wasn't yeah. even of age. Oh really? Technically, you're supposed to be eighteen. No, that's what I mean. I mean, no, but you were using it. No, I'm no, I, I'm saying those people who used it. I, I mean, I'm talking about real. That's why I said realistically, because the companies say you have to be 18. Yeah, but, but I'm saying but, everyone was yeah. using it when they were like fucking 10. Yeah, a lot of people. So, yeah, were. so my friends had it, so I I was around for it. But the reason why I gotta ask you is because I straight up never used. I didn't give a fuck, you know. So, did do you know the top five, like where it was like my top five and yeah, it was no. profiles? So 
Yeah, you got to pick your top five friends. So you remember that. Okay, so for the story, just so you know, okay, I just want, because then it'll be funnier for you, because I didn't understand that. So he goes, he's like, uh, this is Chris D.L. story. He goes (laughs) about his MySpace. He goes, "I, I had a MySpace, and there was this thing, I think, called your top five, and a whole bunch of people I knew were like mad because, or people would get mad and do bitch shit because they would be like, why am I not in your top five? Or why, oh, yeah. those are your because you picked your favorites. Yeah, and he goes, <laughs> he goes, but people would get mad at me, but then they wouldn't when they would see what it was. Uh-huh. And he's like, all of my top five were profiles I had made, <laughs> and it was fake profiles for Kurt Russell, <laughs> the actor Kurt Russell. That's so he silly. said, so it was just five accounts that were Kurt Russell that he was running his top five. So people were like, so it's obviously a joke. He goes. Then one day I get a fucking message, whatever the message was. I don't think it was called a direct message during that time, yeah. but whatever. He tells a story though. He goes, dude, I got a message, not in my account, Chris Diella. He goes in a Kurt Russell account. So I log into one of the Kurt Russell accounts. I got the message and it's a guy from uh, Italy messaging who he literally thinks is Kurt Russell <laughs> and, and telling me how, I'm his favorite actor, Kurt Russell, and how I uh, inspire him and how he wants to act and how he wants to be in the movies and he's begging me. So this guy, so he's telling a story about this guy messaging him thinking he's Kurt Russell, right? Yeah. And the guy's just begging him, dude, please put me in a movie. I want to act so bad. So Chris Diella gets mad. So he's like, okay, I'm going to entertain this. Yeah. Right? Are you listening, motherfucker? Yeah, I'm trying to find my old MySpace. Oh. So he, are you listening? Okay, yes. so it don't matter, I guess. But he he goes, he goes, I he, he said he got very irritated because he knows what it takes to go out there to Hollywood, make that move with that risk to go be an actor and you're living out of your car, a shitty apartment, and you're going to auditions, you're getting turned down, and you're broke as shit. He goes, you sacrifice everything. And he goes, this motherfucker wants to get a freebie by just messaging Kurt Russell. Why the fuck would Kurt Russell be on MySpace, first of all? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. Chris Yellow goes, I'm going to fuck with this guy. Now it's personal. So he messages him back. He goes, Hey, and he goes, as I'm Kurt Russell, I go, hey, man, that's awesome. I appreciate it. I'm actually shooting a movie about race cars, and you would play the perfect part for one of the mechanics. And the guy, dude, right? So he's leading him on, right? Yeah. Seeing how far he'll go. Then he goes, the guy messages back. He's like, oh, my God, yes. Oh, my God, I appreciate it. Whatever, I'll do anything. The guy goes, okay, but you're going to have to send me in an audition tape. He so he legit thinks he's Kurt Russell, bro. And he goes, he goes, dude, I found my old MySpace. Okay, so he goes, I want you to do send me in a audition, right? We'll see if you're any good. Goes, okay, yeah, yeah. What do you want me to do? He goes, I want you to do the scene from A Few Good Men. When he says, I you can't handle the truth, yeah. and the whole fucking yeah. So he goes, all oh, right. So he's dude. saying it all, and he goes. This cocksucker sends me back an audition tape while he's wearing sunglasses so you could think he's not reading the fucking whole script and you think he memorized it. He's like, this son of a bitch. So he keeps fucking with him, leading him on, dude. Then he goes, yeah, man. He goes, and actually, you got to send me a video, another audition tape. You're great for the character, but now we want to see you act as the character. Yeah. And we want to see you, uh, your character get shot and die. So I want you to walk through your doorway and I want you to pretend to get shot and slowly die on the ground messages the fucking guy and the guy uh, fucking sends back a fucking video dude like a few weeks later of him walking through the doorway and pretending to get shot and fall on the ground silly can you fucking believe that bro and it's funny because chris deal is actually the comedian sadly who got in trouble for sending people and uh dick pics and grooming them and Talking under uh, underage clothes. Okay, so my top ten was, or my top eight at the moment was uh, my older brother Tiger, uh, my sister Nastasha, uh, my little brother Patrick, and there's a. So, dude, me and my little brother have fucking, or not me and my little brother. Me and Efren have music on here that we can't listen to. <laughs> See, like, why? Look at these are songs me and Efren released like back in two thousand like. Seventh grade. No shit. Yeah. The original Broken Glass Homes on here. I still have 
But there's a few that me and Efren do not have fucking can't get to. So cool, I'm buying Procreate now. Oh, yeah. And to everyone, here's a little message from me. I'm drawing again. Yep, that's right. I'm picking up pencils and pens and not writing words. Instead, I'm drawing things. So for all my homies who can't read, what's up? I'm just kidding. I'm getting back into illustrations, tattoo designs. Eventually going to try to work towards some sort of tattoo apprenticeship eventually. And uh, But no, I'm open for biz, dude. So fucking hit me up. That's our ad to, uh, for That's our ad for today. Um, yeah, so hit me up. Uh, trying to spell my name while I talk and I can't and that must mean I'm stoned but it's all good because guess what all else happened over this past fucking weekend um it, Mar- prop 207 69 420 got fucking passed and now we can fucking smoke and guess what you know what that sounds great and gravy and ev- everything right um what required password for additional person uh required for 15 minutes yeah um uh, yeah, so it got passed, but actually there's people doing better than us because in goddamn Oregon, you could pretty much smoke um, anything. So You can straight up smoke meth. Yeah. So that's an interesting thing, huh? Hold on, I'm trying to get into my old MySpace so I can watch these videos. Is Procreate going to let me procreate or what? Um, but anyways, yeah, for real, I'm doing tattoos and all that good shit. So uh, I'm not doing tattoos. I'm not scratching Right, I'm not scratching out of a fucking house. I'm definitely not doing that. No, I really mean that. I, I don't even have equipment. But um, I am designing and doing custom artwork and pieces and projects for people. So hit me up and we'll discuss the fucking price, dude. And uh, don't you fucking lowball me. Or I'll fucking kill you. So anyways, okay, back to the podcast. What's up, guys? This is fucking... This is fucking Dirty Mike and the boys in the morning. Uh, why are you wearing a hat with your fucking... <laughs> Why? Because you're the Mad Hatter or what? Are you going to talk on this podcast? I'm sorry. Do you I'm not just, speak on this? I'm trying. Yeah, well, that was a lot of conversations ago, so I would say drop it. No, because I'm straight up looking for my fucking my shit. Dude, that's dumb. Fuck you, bro. Dude, I'm this is like I'm a piece of my you. past, bro. This is like uncovering Well, fucking good gold. lord, bro. Fucking talk. At least multitask. Dumb fuck. Just eat shit. This fucking right. goddamn monkey brain fuck. Can do shit. Who told you that? But his wife cooks brilliantly. Damn, this it's is fucking delicious. This isn't the MySpace I wanted to get. Well, then find your own space, bro. <laughs> this is my space. <laughs> this is your space. Don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing I I I's gonna. It's not how you sing of that song, man. Dude, um. Who the fuck passed you the mic and said that you could flow? Yeah, you little bitch, I want to know. Jakey Gonzo just fucking hit me up. Shout out to Jakey Gonzo and his podcast coming out soon. It's going to be fantastic. Nothing less than fantastic. Dude, where you at? I need to see you, but I have no car. Bummer. Nathaniel's cunt. Hey, is cunt a bad word? Not necessarily. Yeah, I mean sick cunt. If I mean sick cunt. Like, the Australian... I definitely don't mean he's, like, whatever that means. Fuck my space, bro. It's just stupid. Um, Dude, what's the greatest thing that's happened to you recently? Recently? Let's see where he's at. Where the fuck is he at? Oh, he's an... Oh, he's an oracle. <laughs> that's right, he kind of mean. Okay, let me... We're gonna give Jakey fucking Gonzo... A motherfucking phone call. Oh, What's oh, up, dude? You're on the podcast. Hold on. Let, let, let me uh, let me get him on in, my phone. Hey, call Nathaniel, dude, because so you could be on the podcast. Hold on, hold on. Let me get out hey, call Nathaniel. Jacob. All right, I'm out. Hey, call. Hey, Jacob. What's up? Call Nathaniel. We're doing a podcast. You're on the podcast. He's gonna Bluetooth you to the fucking soundboard. Yeah, send send me it. No, we're gonna no, we're gonna negotiate. Go call him. Cool. Hopefully he listens. He's very anti. Drunk. He's very anti-establishment. He's right very now. anti-Semitic. <laughs> I've not yet begun to defile myself. Um, he's very. Call him. He said, "Call him." Oh, uh, on his cell phone. Yeah. Dude, that's so funny. None of you have Goonies number, including myself. <laughs> I was like, we're friends, huh? Yeah, I was like, Goonie, what's your number? He's like, everyone has my number. I was like, no, they don't, dude. Actually, I hate to tell you. 
There we go. <laughs> I wonder if he can hear us through our microphones. That'd be. Hey, what Jacob. Up, Jacob. Up? What are you doing? I'm at a, I'm at like a little get together right now. Hey, can you hear us like clearly? Yeah. Yeah, because we're on the podcast, dude. Yeah, you're on the podcast. Say brother. what up. Say what up to everybody. I'm a, you're hey, on, how's it going, guys? Yeah, it's all just freaky tales. Promote your fucking. Oh, am I? Yeah. yeah, we're yeah, doing an fantastic. episode. So we have hey, we have well, your phone. Here, let me give you a rundown of what's been going on the last fucking two days for me, man. I took my car to the fucking shop, and okay. they haven't called me back at all for any of that shit. When did that happen? Fucking, uh, I don't know what's today. Two days ago, anyways. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so two days ago from today, and then I have been um, in the same clothes that I left my house. Why? And I have been shit fake because I haven't had a time to go home and you just been drinking? Uh, so are you depressed I, or what? I haven't. Yes, dude. Yes. And Why are you sad, that. buddy? Come over. Fuck, me and Nathaniel will hug you. Fuck you. <laughs> for oh, real. Dude. Oh, bro. And then, so I fucking got a fuck. Okay. So I stayed at Hondo's for a little while right there on Ina. Saw that. Got a fucking, got a fucking uh, uh, Uber all the way down to Craycroft. Fucking $30 Uber, whatever the fuck. Jesus Go fuck Christ, a hooker. Jacob. <laughs> get a fucking thirty dollar Uber back. Fuck, I don't know, dude. I've spent so much money this weekend. I haven't even dude, do you think over, you would have bro. spent less money if you had your car? I got nothing. To, oh yes, maybe. You yes. wouldn't have spent like the sixty dollars on the Ubers there and back from the hooker. Yeah, dude. Hey, yeah, ask ask Jacob's brother if you could use this truck again. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, ask no, him. That's a, that, that was a one time deal. That was man. a one time deal, that. bro. Halloween. I can't believe I didn't open up with the Halloween stories, bro. You didn't Fuck. say that at all. Oh, well, dude. Now, now you know. Now, now you could lead off with a good fucking story, dude, man. But we got nah, it. man. This whole fucking this whole weekend's been a fucking bender. And well, a half. come just, over, bro. Let me cleanse your oh, soul. Dude, I took like, I took um fucking. Well, my, uh, my like advice three, to you is. Three, three, Took like three extends pills last night, and I didn't even fuck nobody. It was terrible, bro. Oh uh, my god, that's hours. rock bottom. Sorry. If I've ever fucking seen it, horrible to thing take to three say dick on the pills podcast. and then just have to beat them off. Now you, you know what you just did? You just fucked yourself. This bro. episode is sponsored by Loki oh, no. Gonzo Pod. No, you literally fucked yourself. That's the funny thing, I did fuck myself. <laughs> He got the old banana fever. <laughs> He's got banana fever. Hey, do you remember when everyone used to throw bananas at you, Jacob? <laughs> when I was in middle I school? Fucking, bro, I can't hear shit out here. Do you, hey, Nathan, do you remember that? No, I, that's why I said the banana fever. <laughs> no, when we threw banana. Oh, yeah, that's the banana fever, bro. Because you fucked the banana, fucked pill. banana bro, let, me, let me give you. Let me tell you what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing big, big chicks. Big I'm dicks. Big dicks walk around I me in a circle, and it's it's looking I real good. <laughs> dude, oh, oh my dude, god! Hey, go go walk dude. up to some go walk up to some <laughs> random person and get them interview on this podcast. Them. Yeah, interview. Interview them. Them. We have our correspondent <laughs> well, Logan Gonzo on the on the Salsa's Freaky Tale podcast. Out. I'll I'll lead myself out with uh uh with everybody drunk singing at the party. So here you go. <laughs> Hey, come over, dude. Shut the fuck up, Andrew. <laughs> Don't be inviting people over to my house. Yeah, but this is as much as I love guys. Jacob. I'm back. I'm, I'm back in Stop my fucking, fucking environment. Stop fucking I'm a tadpole. You got to let me go leg, bitch. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, dog. Later, brother. Oh, dude, he's a man. That was awesome. I've never done a phone call through the How through deep the are we in the podcast? Is Are people going to hear that? <laughs> if they've hung on for an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, we're good. We're rolling. Yeah, we're averaging I do long podcasts because no, you people don't. No. Your last podcast was 47 minutes. Oh, I used to. My, dude, I'm telling you, dude, fucking people want the fucking Andridge. <laughs> I want to fucking get an ostrich and name him Andridge. You should get an ostrich. Do you know who Andridge Monfreda is? No. It's Andy Momfred's great. Uh, I sw- I'm not fucking making shit up. He got it back in an ancestry thing. You know that I've do known that family ancestry- my whole fucking life. Well, then how the fuck did you not know that? Yeah, I don't yeah, care that yeah. much about Andy. Sit. Sit down. Well, no. So check this out. AJ, Andy's older brother. Yeah, it's my older brother's best friend. Why do you always conclude like a sense like that? You're like, <laughs> yeah, because I'm telling you that you're stupid and you don't know what you're talking about. And, and for the thing, the, <laughs> that's the, how the, you the, imply yeah. it. No, the thing is, do you smoke cigarettes in here? Do you smoke? <laughs> <laughs> <in here? laughs> no, dude, I only do my crack in here. I got cigarettes. Baking, you bake, want a cigarette? Baking most. Do you have cigarettes? Yeah. Well, I mean, after this podcast, we'll go take okay. a walk out into the breeze. I think you put that hat on because we were talking about being the Mad Hatter. No, 
wear no, you, multiple you, hats. You started saying that afterwards. I don't know. I, I put, said, I I said put this you on wear multiple hats. Because I just think it's funny that you gave I me do. this Bass Pro, Pro, Pro Shop hat. Yeah. I don't even fish. It was a no. It's because me and Alicia bought them when we went. Yeah. Shout out to Alicia. <laughs> Shout out to. All right, this next song is called Electric Rose. <laughs> oh, is that what I called it? That's not it. I don't know. It probably not. No. No, you're thinking of just hold my breath. I can't don't, hold, even. don't hold your I breath. I love, dude. Efren's parts are so good in that song. Efren's parts in that song are so good, bro. It's my song. But thank you. No, Efren's yeah. great. <laughs> Efren's great. No, it's my song, but yeah, no, Efren's the shit. Hey, no, uh, he is great. My song, honestly, hey, dude, Efren's great. <laughs> no, hey, so that's how I feel about uh, Efren's song, Deja Vu with Goonie. Mm-hmm. I, so that's his most popular song on the song. statistics. But I'm just like, how many oh. people listen to that song because fucking Goonie was on it? And I'm just like. And he has a big following, Goonie. That's, that's oh, did I tell, what's oh, I didn't, so oh, I fucking I crazy I about that. that what? Oh, dude, I'm, so I'm putting music on the back burner for a little bit. Um, and I'm going to manage Goonie. Like I'm going to get, my goal is in a year, I want Goonie to be performing big shows. I'm going to be his cinematographer, his media. I'm going to run everything, bro. I'm going to put all my motive. You want to know why I'm going to do this? Because I believe in Goonie more than I believe in myself. That's how much I think Goonie is, how good he is. How do you think I feel about you guys? I, dude, I don't know. I spend a lot of money on you guys, bro. At least $200 a year. You do a little bit more sometimes, bro. You're the grandmaster, dude. The grandmaster, flashmaster. I'm gonna overdose on heroin. You're the Overseer. you're the guy. You're like the guy who invented the uh, the Jack in the Box. No, the dun, fucking. Dun, 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 dun. No, you're like you're gonna be like the guy who invented the pocket pussy. James Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the guy who invented the pocket watch. Oh, sorry, no. Jim Pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was also. You a big like bleep. Tom Papa? You big Tom Papa fan? I like his bread. Um, I don't know who Tom Pop. I know Tom Pop is a comedian, but I've never listened to him. I've only listened to his Joe Rogan's, and I've listened to is some of his stand up. It's not bad. What does he look like? A white man. I get him in um, old guy. I get him and Greg. He look Fitz- like how he I think? get him and Greg Fitzsimmons mixed up sometimes. I get Greg M- McMuffins. <laughs> it's you, <laughs> McMuffin. <laughs> oh, dude, Fuck. super bad. All right, we're gonna wa- we're gonna start streaming super bad, and you guys are just gonna listen to the dialogue as we talk over the movie. Did you hear that, that? That who's it? Michael Sarah? That's a pain in the ass to work with. Could you imagine? Would you? Okay, ready. Here's my next question. Next question. <laughs> Here's your next question. <laughs> and my next question. I worked with a guy at Home Depot that fucking talked like that. He's from uh, South Carolina. Um, He's Czech Carolina. He um, but uh, he um, but um, would how many episodes you say you would do a series? Oh, oh how no! Many, how many seasons? A seasons would you a do? Three to five. Okay, so you do five. Okay, but your main star is now Michael Sarah, dude. <laughs> you die off the to... first episode, bro. No, you got to carry him on. No, he'd be he's the, the he'd, character. He'd be a ghost backup. It's already written, and he's already casted by the greatest caster ever. If that's the case, James William cast. If that's the case, what? This ain't my show anymore, and I I give up. Yeah. I don't. You s- can you sell your show? Yeah. If you're already working on it, like say if James Gunn was doing a movie and he's like, I'm going to sell this to Abrams. Well, no. Because so, I don't want to direct so it anymore. the thing is, is you wouldn't. No, you're not in you control that. Warner Brothers would so, be, right? Well, I'm just saying under well, that. Well, no. So you would you would talk Universal. to whoever has the, you know, whoever you have a contract with. And you tell them, be like, hey. And they might be like, no, you got to do it. You're obligated to by law or else we're going to really? sue you um, if you don't deliver it. Or you could say, or they could say, okay, well, we'll buy the rights from you for this much. And then we're going to continue to make it our way. Or you can work out some agreement that says, you know, I'll continue to write for it, but I don't want to keep directing it. And, you right. know, you know, I'll give you guys what the show's about, but you guys got to execute all the fucking stuff. I've never stuff. heard any cases of that. I've never heard, like, I've heard, dude, I keep my ear to the ground, bro. I know all the movement of the movies right now with all the accounts I follow. A majority of the accounts on Instagram I follow are all that, are all news about, like, James Gunn on track for this. I remember hearing the news right away when James Gunn but had those it, accusations like, and got out of Guardians of the Galaxy. Is it also like indie movies or is it just big blockbuster? No, oh, b- blockbuster movies. So I mean, like I imagine that a lot of blockbuster companies and like big motion picture companies keep that stuff away from the press, and you know, and that's why oh, I, you're that's, talking about the stuff of I don't oh, want to do this no, anymore. The stuff of it like, doesn't look good. Yeah, the stuff of like it, pu- uh, it plays down the project. It's like finally after like five director switches, where this movie's getting off the ground. That's kind of happened, right? Have it, you, no, it of, does happen. But when you find that out, you oh, usually, like Superman, you, the you, documentary about uh, so you, Superman lives. Yeah, so you, you gotta watch. You that, You usually bro. find that out through some source oh. that's not the main fucking 
from, from some little source that's just like, hey, man, th- these guys are doing this. Did you guys know that this movie's had like five directors because they couldn't fucking settle on what they wanted? Right. But, you know, you're, it's not... Who's com- your favorite director, you think, right now? I really enjoy Robert Rodriguez. I can't say so much of his newer stuff, but uh, I like his older stuff. Um, Just for like name D- a movie the DIY uh, Desperado, Once Upon a Time Mexico. Oh, so he's done a movie Spy with kids. He's done okay. He's an actor too. No. Oh, I'm thinking of um, Sebastian. Whatever the fuck. I don't, who's the guy who plays the dad in <laughs> Spy Kids? Antonio Banderas. Banderas, yeah. Bendover. <laughs> Antonio Banderas. Uh, fucking the clips of Dover Guitar Hero Three, I rem- dude. I remember when Guitar Hero Three came out, and there's a level where you play you play like against or as the devil, and everybody. Was- you ever seen Legend? That's the greatest I- imagining of the devil I think ever. Thanks for listening to this podcast. You ever heard, hear that? What le- uh, Legion or Legend? Legend. No, it's one of Tom Cruise's first movies, dude. Legend. Yeah, he. Uh, it's about him and this girl who live in like this. Forest of peace, and then the devil finds them because they're super pure. Um, and he's just like <laughs> Tom Cruise. You'll see the devil. I think you'll fuck with this, dude. It's dope. Um, hey, have you ever watched the movie Antichrist? Willem Dafoe's dicks in it. His giant penis. Really, he's packing heat or what? Yeah, him, dude. I like ben how Affleck. no one acknowledged the fact that I praised um, Carlos. Big dick Carlos, where I was like, I wish I had a big old fucking hog like Carlos, and no one gave a fuck. I was like, is no one gonna Dude, laugh? The thing is, is you're saying you're saying something that we've already laughed about years ago, like almost, almost, yeah, six, but it almost made me, six it made, years ago. I just, I got very weird about it because <laughs> you're like, just like, it's like, you know, like, well, because I thought, because what I thought was gonna happen was you're gonna message something like, ah, you motherfucker, you, you know, like, kind but of, no one like backed me up. So you know what you saying that reminded me of when Brandon Schaub talks about sending yeah. like everybody. That's the, look at that's the devil. In the movie, that reminds me of Tenacious D. Bro, rad, right? Look at this. Yeah, but he's like, he's not cheat. Like, dude, look how radical he is. I mean, that looks crazy, dude. That's all practical effects. You know what I mean? Definitely. I almost. I love practical but, effects, uh, dude. So uh, what the fuck? Oh, were but we look saying? at Tom Cruise. What how the old he is? Fuck, were we saying right now before this? Yeah. Fuck. Look at Tom Cruise, bro. I want a Tom Crucible myself. Tom Cruise is fucking amazing. I think he should run for president. Uh, I think we don't need a Scientologist president. I don't think we need a president. I think we need a governor. I, yeah, I think we should just stick to our states. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? That's how uh, that's how Greece is ran. Yeah, where are they now? Not Greece, bro. Rome. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, what happened to them? Everyone just kind of fucking manifests destiny. I don't know. They manif- their destinies manifested other places. I was going to say something about Carlos' dick, and I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you not acknowledging and just leaving me out to dry. You guys left me out to dry. That's the definition of being left out to dry. I was trying to crack a silly joke, but then it looked serious because no one laughed. Oh, okay. Now, like, uh, no, you need so the alley This is what I was going to say. That reminded me of like when Brandon Schaub would talk about sending like dick pics to his group chat, and then like Rogan wouldn't respond and he felt like embarrassed that he sent him a dick pic and it's just like dude he doesn't respond to it he doesn't say anything about it do you think they get that weird like do you think they get weird like us like shit like that like do you think he really sends dick pics to them yeah do you really think they're group yeah I think Brandon Schaub and and Brian Callen used to like like they said Brian would piss in the fucking sink Brandon would piss in the toilet I think that they had that kind of friendship do you think that so you think that's genuine? You don't think they're trying to make that no, camaraderie that's, they're, entertaining? That's a hundred percent. You know, it's weird. Kind of friendship. Would, would you not? Would, would, no matter what you heard, just answer these questions. Would you not? Would Would you not say that Chris Diel and him looked really close? They would always fuck with each other. They no, were they were friends. they were extremely really? close. He fucking got brought up with them. Check and this out. When those when those things came out about accusations yeah. about him came out, there's a podcast episode of Brian Callen saying, "I barely knew him." I never even went out after a show with him. I've never been out to eat with him. Our relationship was not that. So that's why I was telling you earlier when I had brought up where I was like, but I didn't carry on with it because I think we started talking about something else when I was like, yeah, I don't like Brian Callen anymore because of that. I found out about that where he's like, yeah, there's an episode. It's not no one made it up. It's literally there's episodes. Oh, did you like watch the videos of people explaining stuff yeah. on YouTube? Yeah, he was, yeah, he, cause, well, because I was like, I need this broken down because I didn't know too much about the Brian Callen side of it because yeah. they're talking about and then this happens. And they think, like, I don't know, but it's fucked up, dude. So that's what I'm saying. Is it made up? Because it sounds like, 
I don't think I know they have a good sense of humor, but I it's hard for me to believe that Joe Rogan's that immature where he's like, yeah, let's all send dick pics to each no. other. And well, no, that's shit. that's not the thing. Is the thing is is they would send pictures to to Rogan because they they because that's how they. Right, yeah. but I mean, but, and then Rogan would never say shit to him because, but so he's Rogan not, didn't have that. He's not that kind of person. Okay, so they thought that was funny. Okay, that sounds not true then, because that sounds less true because no, it, it means because it no. I I see that because you listen to their episodes and they're always talking about like their dicks. Dog, I thought I knew Chris Diella, bro. Hey, that's, that dude, happens, we think dude. we know everything about that's, everyone. That's my point. Is hey, we know right. What if we're gonna end with any Los Lenny song? We're gonna leak a Lenny song. Okay. What song are we gonna leak? I gotta talk to fucking uh, Gabriel about that, dude. Do it soon. What 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 do you want to leak, dude? I don't care. I'll look pull up the track list and read it. Read the uh, track list for okay. the fans, the Lenny fans. All right. So we got um this one's more legible. We got number one off the track. Los Lenny's local presents rap addiction because we are all addip- addicted to something and our addiction is rhyming words how weird huh and we act hard doing it as if we're punching you with words maybe punch lines check it out so check it out check it out check it out now coming in at number one whippets where we were literally in the lab doing whippets and we were like dude let's add this in the background to the beat and we laid that first and that was the first time for us ever fucking doing that we let's lay the ad libs and sound effects first and then go off that vibe and then there we go we got whippets now coming in at number two so what so what is uh just about being like, so what? I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm drunk. I'm wasted. I'm having a good time. I'm a sick individual. I'm fucking twisted, bro. I'm I'm wild, bro. I take a shot, another shot, motherfucker. I keep doing it. You know what I mean? So that's what so what is, okay? Number three, on deck. Um, <laughs> What's on deck? We are on deck. I don't know. I couldn't explain it. No, what? How does a song go? That's one of the lines. Is, it, that's one of your lines, too. It's like... We are on Yeah, because it was an ongoing thing. It was a... <laughs> is that the one? That's not the one with Gage. We're on deck. Who's that? Los Lenny's look. Oh, shit. Okay. Coming in. That was going to be a mystery. Fucking A-Way. That's going to be a deep song. It's going to strike you deep. Okay. Sharp. I lead with that song. Um, And that's the very nasally song. And then we got Rap Addiction. But... Oh, that's, you know what? Let's do Rap Addiction because... You're just going to drop the single again? Yeah. Well, I mean... All right. This is Rap Addiction. You want to continue to put like tell people the rest of the playlist or yeah so then we got rap addiction well we got sharp at number five after fucking a way which is number four uh-huh. we got number six after five is six and six is rap addiction and if you haven't go check out the fucking rap addiction music video on the yes. 5631 youtube page and if you don't then uh well you're probably a then fucking you just suck on your grandmother's dick probably a fucking so, nazi communist so Coming in at number seven is Thug Rats, and that is with the feature of Third Fucking Gate. Yeah, my name's Third Gate, and I'm mad. <laughs> Third grade. <laughs> yeah, and okay, so then number eight, War. I'm gonna lead up from me with a nasally ass voice because I was super sick during the time. What you gonna do about it? Anyway, number nine, Run It Up. We got. 12 gauge pump, in other words, 12 G- GP, P. motherfucker. The Oracle's As I know ostrich. him, the Oracle's ostrich <laughs> lasagna pasta is awesome. How did that all rhyme? So, <laughs> he didn't. So, he, um, this is, I know him as Gage. He's the shit. I know him as William. I know him as William Gage. Fucking, I know him as fucking pea shooter Gage. He's got that 12 gauge pump, shun. What's up? So, at number 10, we got... We got... Arizona Natives. We on right now. Yeah. Arizona Natives is going to be a fucking banger of a local fucking ting, dude. A spanger. Yeah, we are pretty much the... Uh, we're, we're pretty much the Fool's Gone Wild ver- uh, Arizona <laughs> version. Yeah, so... Kind of. Fu- fucking, yeah, we're going to do a little mystery collab, collab one day. We're going to keep our socks high, bro, and our hopes higher. So anyways, coming in at number 11, which is the final track in the end, or the finisher, Triple the Triple L. L. Yep, it's acronym for Los Lenny's Loco. Exacto Mundo. All right, so we're going to drop, we're going to play... Rap addiction. No, we're gonna give him a joint. We're gonna a give him a new s- one. Secret joint, dude. Secret joint. 
Which one? We're gonna do Run It Up. Ooh. Cause I want Gage to be fucking heard, bro. Gage, the Oracle Ostrich. Why can't I hear it? Why is that only playing through my fucking? Okay, well I'll just pull it up on my phone. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that was only playing through. That's Sorry, sh- shitty. Sorry to everyone and Gage. So, sorry Dude, to-, to procreate fucking yeah by the way i'm doing tattoo designs i'm not scratching that was gonna imply that i'm probably scratching get it oracle ostrich goonie sanch john von sanch 12 gauge <laughs> beat <laughs> Just subscribe yeah, yeah. subscribe to uh Ciao. if i see you can't wait Run it out. you only talk what the fuck is up Motherfuckers be yapping on what's gonna happen I tell myself stick to the rap and I'm sticking to being a beast You think I'm needing a leash, I think I'm needing a cage I don't hold back when I rage, twerk rolling up, I'm a passage to gauge Massive attraction, we're smashing the game Attack and see action, I'm masking the pain Collapse on the brass, that'll blast your brain Goon, get her back, we snap out the chain Put on the gas, only tap on the brakes Bumping some shit from way back in the days I smell the flesh, I'm attacking the prey Stop all the talk, let's go back to the chase Beast gotta eat, it's a piece of the strange Increase with the heat, burn the trees, every strain A leap full of G's, ain't leaving a trace Achieving a change, allegiance of grace Extreme, it seems my team exceeds them I plant the seeds, the feed we need to graze And hence events expand the final stage If all we solve it all in every way Strain OG, I medicate Flow so bomb, I didn't act. Hold on, let me demonstrate How I go on and don't hesitate Let it roll on, I accelerate Pressure all gone when I let it break Goon by the bus pipe, tune in the bus break I'm heavy waking up with you with a rough night No lights, just sleep Check the click, we on the creep It's wisdom that we speak That we seek, increase the speed Up the need indeed Take the lead, ain't no greed Just achieve, flowing with the stream Knowledge consuming, constant smoke of green. You can't hold me back, you should know what you know about that. Life's a bumpy road, sometimes you end up at a cul-de-sac. Short life for the long term, don't end up taking the wrong turn. Took a look at this world, that's when I told myself that it's all yours. They say that life is a bitch, so I make up my bitch and I only put call first. Who wanna be when you ready to meet? I'ma start it by spitting the raw verse. Bitch, I'ma spit till my jaw hurts. Put some green in the back, call it your work. I cannot give it up, drop it and pick it up. I can just see what it's all worth. Yeah, what it's all worth. The birth of my son got me worked up and I've been just working my lungs with these raps Stretching the band till it snaps I'm surrounded by sounds in these studio walls But no, I'm not hiding This space is the place I reside in Also the spot that I died in But I can't stop rapping and writing and writing To be like a snake in the desert Jamora, San Siba, the beach of Hopi we bleeping birds and leeches and snitches, bitches with fucking bitches spinners be twitching and texting they mamas goodbye. Pot smoke be rolling out the holes in my nose, filling up the room, stinking up my clothes. Got me higher than fuck, supplying dick, she will suck. Go ahead, get at him, good luck. She's shaking her ass and I pull her up, but I've been fucking up, chucking, causing a ruckus. Bitch, y'all can hate all you want, yeah. but y'all can fuck Yo, I lay lines like barcodes. Yeah. I lay lines like narcos. Yeah. Hard white inside of Marcos, it's nostrils. I specialize in putting blood stains on clothes. So what you want, hoes? Get yeah. rolled over by Adian in the back of the bronze. Go on like you want more. I pick up the pen and the pad and I jot it real fast and I hook with a fast and a bill from a pants and I take her opinions right up her ass. But she loves my sarcasm. I glance at a pass and decide and she laughs. Aside from my passive aggressive remarks, they act commenced to be the way said something and it set me off. So I hopped the median shot the Jeep and hit her with the low slenny seat. This never thought that I could ever be this piss. This conceited bitch can't go eat a dick. I just wanted to kick it like a skateboard and she just flipped. So I kicked her right out of the passenger door with no remorse for these whores. Through the lawn and they'll ray and tapestry blanket chick. Just like a paparazzi, I can't wait to pinch you naked. LOL, man, what the hell am I saying? I'll leave you in the same places of the game. I keep them locked in the basement. Yeah, shine. Damn, dude, I haven't heard that. You know what's crazy? It's been... One week Introducing Broyhill at Big Lots. I turned down the wrong... Oh, it's my Bluetooth. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, dude, I... That's crazy, bro. How long did it take to make... Uh, to make... I always want to call your ghost white... Project fucking Psycho White. What Ghost White Project? The Real American Zero? Yeah, no, The Real American Zero. But I'm talking about the song. Every time I think of your song. Oh, Ghost White? Yeah, I almost want to say Psycho White. Could not tell you. How, how long, long over the course? Me. Like, no, like a rough estimate. Like, from how long did we... I don't know when we made it. I couldn't tell you exactly when we made it. I We, we probably had it as a, like a just a song that we fucked with, and then I slowly started to... No, not the song, the whole album. How long did it take us to make it? Yeah. Well, we wrote it, and then we probably didn't get to recording it till like about like half a year. a year. Okay. Also, okay, so we. So you've had a song take a long time like that. Then okay, so fucking we have a song that was one of our first songs since 2016. We have yeah. not recorded it yet, Damn. and that song is Sonora, and 
you know, like that's one of our first songs. We haven't recorded it yet because we want to put it with these specific other songs that fit with it versus right. like, cause you know, we, we have songs that feel like aren't really, um, the style. Well, like we make a lot of different music. So we have songs that don't fit certain albums. Like we wouldn't have thrown that song on the real American zero. Cause it wouldn't have fit. It would have sounded off. It would have been like, well, that was just a weird fucking song that they, they had for it. Like, why did they have that one on it? So we, yeah. you know, um, but so the real American zero took us at least over a year and a half. Like we, we, by the time we finished it, we didn't put it out. So we finished it by March, 2018, I think. And then we didn't release it until October because we had, to, we waited until we got the CDs put like How pressed. long do you think we've taken? Uh, at least a year, maybe a year, year and a half. Uh, probably a little, yeah, about a year and a half. No, because well, so, a year well, so we, we recorded when did, Whippets when did in you guys, July. Well, well, so that's when you guys started it. When did you guys finish it? The whole album? Yeah. Um, Like the last song? Yeah. Like oh, when okay, I got when was the last song? When, when was the last time you guys all recorded some vocal for one of those songs? Cause, um, Cause, once that's done, it's like then it goes to mixing, and that's when Effort was mixing it. And I'm let me look at the track list again. The last song, that's a good point. Okay, I was confused what you're saying. Let's see. I think one of you guys' last songs was like War or Sharp. No, bro, that was fucking. It was definitely a song together. Cause I remember I was waiting on Goonie for a while. Effort was waiting on me for a long time, and then I recorded it. I remember being like, "That song's not gonna get done, dude." Cause, uh, okay, I remember it clearly, but I got to think of the songs. Cause it was finished off. We had to finish the song off. I think one of them was fucking a way. Yeah. Um, because Goonie had to record his, and then me and Efren were gonna finish it off. So, uh, fucking a way, and I think that was in August, probably. Shit. It was when I came back from Colorado. Okay. Okay, so. So, yeah, dude, like a year and a couple months. We've been working on it for a year, and then now it's been like... We started working on it uh, right when I got back from California. Okay, so let's see. August to November, how many months is that? August. August September, October, November. So about yeah. three months. So from finish to release date, three months, that's not too bad. Oh, I told you what I want to do, right? I want to fucking... Uh, Buy us all throwing money for fucking CDs, some physical copies. Yeah. And uh, don't I, throw them at a Cheeto, uh, or sell them at a Cheeto vibes. I respect that, but that's your guys' ambition. I'm not going to throw any money towards it. Sorry. I don't give a fuck. No, I know. And I get that. It's the thing is, is like, I know that CDs are, for the most part, a waste of money. Mm. Because guess what? I see it as a business card, though. No, I don't see I, it as just a CD. Well, it's like so a that's business the thing. card with a... Uh, is if you want to spend the money to just give away free CDs, then do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's the plan. And the thing is, is I've spent money. I've got... Me and, like, me and Efren bought 100 CDs for the Real American Zero. Yeah. How many have we sold? How much money have we profited I'm off of it? I'm not trying to take no money from the company. 50 bucks. No, and no, and I get that. It's just like, I'm not going to... like. That's your guys' ambition. You guys got to do that. Within you guys, I really need I need to include you, really. No, I know, but the way you said it right now, us. No, it's just you were you were quoting what you said, but I'm in that group message. Yeah, and when I saw that, I was like, I hope these guys don't think that I'm gonna toss some money in to buy some CDs because I don't want don't to buy fuck. CDs. I'll <laughs> fucking just buy them. It's not even that was even a part of it. Anyways, the fucking thing hey, was just hey, like it hey, was mostly you're cut from the label. Just um. <laughs> It was hey, stop, just, stop what you're doing. <laughs> you're, it was just like uh You're about to end this podcast if you do that. It was like um No, it's a good idea. It's like that's how you get out there. It's like No, oh not just that. No, what I was thinking of, not even that. It's uh that and then I wanted to get uh posters made and I wanted to put no, in places, not flyers. No, I like that idea. The posters, posters. like nice poster pick. Like a movie poster. You want I big wanna, ones like that? Or yeah, do you want, like, I want no, I want it like that. I want to sell it as a poster, like a movie. That's a big fucker. Five of them. Just go to fuck. Go to fucking, uh, there's places in Tucson you can go get them made. Kinko's, right? I've never been to one. I want to go to Kinko's. I would go to a, like a like a sign shop. They'll probably get a, give you like a better thing because they can. I got to say that's one thing that was dope about living in California. There was something for everything because so many people had businesses. The thing is, is around here you just got to find them and then you just got to. hard to find. There's you, a lot you, fewer. Well, the there thing is, well, yeah, there's, l- there's and, less. Well, and when I mean less, you, I mean less known too. Exactly. You got to just kind of like go out of your way to find them. 
Yeah, dude. So that will conclude this fucking podcast. Play me out, bro. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Maestro, play me out. Welcome to the Alice Podcast. You just mumble and beg. Money to change if you text. Cause I'm bringing no school back.